retreat at Raudat Haraim, a sprawling ranch and farm north of Riyadh. And while the first visit came in the opening months of his presidency, tonight's comes after a long string of Saudi complaints, ranging from Obama's failure to dislodge Bashar Assad in Syria to his attempt to cut a nuclear deal with Iran that has the Saudis fearing the mullahs in Tehran will get their hands on a nuclear bomb. The Obama administration says it's reached an important milestone in health insurance enrollments. Correspondent Diane Kepley has the details. More than 6 million people have signed up for coverage through the new insurance marketplaces, despite the problems the government's health care website had when the enrollment season began last fall. But the announcement that was made by President Obama during a conference call with counselors for the system may not tell the whole story about how many people are actually getting health insurance. The administration has not said how many of these people have actually started paying premiums. It's also not clear how many of the people who have signed up gained coverage through Medicaid. Still to be announced is the percentage of those 6 million people who are young people. Diane Kepley, Washington. Despite opposition by many in state government, the Obama administration is touting Florida as a health care overhaul success story. Tony Winton has the details. Republicans in Florida pulled out the stops in opposing the Affordable Care Act, suing to stop the law, opting out of the Medicaid expansion, even banning signups on state property. But White House aide Cecilia Munoz is beaming about 440,000 signups in Florida, more than predicted. You know, there have been obstacles in the state of Florida, but at the same time, you're number two in the nation uh, in terms of states with large uh, enrollments. There were many procrastinators at a sign-up event just a few days before the deadline. Some said there were glitches on the website, but were happy they could complete the sign-up process. Tony Winton, Doral, Florida. A new survey by the Associated Press and GFK shows support for the Affordable Care Act is still low. Correspondent Shirley Smith explains. Public support for President Obama's health care law is languishing. In fact, a new Associated Press GFK poll says it's at its lowest level since it was passed four years ago. The figures put support at just 26 percent. And although repealing the law has been a rallying cry for Republicans, only 13 percent in this survey think that will happen. The rest say it will be further implemented as passed or with minor changes. Shirley Smith, Washington. Several Senate Democrats have introduced legislation that would eliminate a requirement in the health care law for companies to provide coverage if they have fewer than 100 employees. Correspondent Kerry Shoemaker explains. The legislation would mean an estimated 98% of businesses could decline to provide insurance without fear of a penalty. The current cutoff is 50 employees, although the Obama administration has temporarily suspended the so-called small business mandate. The bill is backed by five Democrats and one independent. Three of the Democrats are seeking re-election at a time Republicans are emphasizing their demand for repeal of the law. Democratic strategists are urging their candidates to emphasize changes they would make, as well as to stress parts they support. Carrie Shoemaker, Washington. The Air Force has fired nine mid-level nuclear commanders and will discipline dozens of junior officers after an exam-cheating scandal. National Security Correspondent Sagar Magani has the story from the Pentagon. The Air Force calls the moves unprecedented in the nuclear mission force's history, but this is just the latest in a series of missteps. There are cultural issues here. Air Force Secretary Deborah Lee James says the scandal involved dozens of missile launch officers at Malmstrom Air Force Base and exams designed to test how they handle emergency war orders. We found no evidence that it existed outside of Malmstrom. Where missileers were under intense pressure to unnecessarily ace every test. Lieutenant General Steve Wilson says the Service is making big changes in how it trains and leads the nuclear missile force. Sagar Magani at the Pentagon. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Ziggle. And I'm Rick Young. The latest news from around the world. We are Radio VR in Washington. Many thought that a politician with a publicly inebriated lifestyle would be unelectable. But Dave Tillis has proved them wrong, winning over voters by loudly rambling on about issues they care about. Everybody's got to know that drugs are Americans, and we love America! Till 
Obama's total fearlessness and lack of inhibition seemed to speak to voters. This week, those supporters had something to celebrate as Senator Tillis proposed his first piece of legislation, the All Bus Stops Should Have Shelters Bill. But does that mean you deserve to wake up in the snow? Hell no. Let's make a shelter on all bus stops. Ow! This idea is genius! This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. This is the this is the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. And I know it's hard to find live radio on at, you know, in the evening on a on a weekend, but Free Talk Live has a commitment to bringing you live radio. We're so committed to bringing you live radio. We've been live every single day for I think it's been three, four, five years, something like that. It's a tremendous amount of time. It's been a long time since we weren't able to find uh, somebody to come into the, the the studio and operate the board, and we ha- couldn't do it. So and that's live seven nights per week. Yep, seven nights per week, Free Talk Live. And you can give us a call at 855-450-FREE. You're free to call in and talk about whatever you'd like on live radio. That's why we call it what we call it. But we, of course, bring things to the table. And oddly, Daryl, you and I brought the same story, and that's usually a great indication that we should go with that story. Yes. Now, this isn't earth-shattering news. It isn't uh, that Russia has, uh, you know, invaded another port of, par- part of uh, Ukraine, or um, apparently, you know, the U.S. isn't at war with yet another country. No, no, it's not not stuff like that. But it's more about how we in America view the way that it's okay to treat young people. And we'll go ahead and tell the story here. Okay, so the story here is out of Athens, Georgia, and came out yesterday that a 49-year-old man from Athens, Georgia, was charged with assaulting a child when he beat up his stepdaughter's boyfriend after finding the two teenagers in the shower together. So I I want to, before I continue the story, just point out that the media is considering teenagers to be children. Yeah, I I think that this is the part of the, one of the parts of the story that I don't really sort of get. Um, But he certainly did use a position of authority to uh, physically abuse somebody. Yes, but that that's just you know one of my sort of pet peeves. It doesn't say how old they were, right. other than to say that they were under eighteen. They could have been seventeen. They could have been sixteen. They could be thirteen. Well, seems unlikely. Very but, unlikely. At least not in my world. Um, but I gotta say, I've I showered with a a woman of a person of the opposite sex before my eighteenth birthday, and. Um, I really wouldn't have liked it if I had gotten beaten up. Right. And I, I don't think that anybody likes getting beat up. Even people that are into some of the more kinky things, they don't like actually getting physically assaulted by their girlfriend's father. Yeah. And this is just completely unacceptable behavior. So the man named Clinton Ward was arrested after he called 911 to report an unknown teenager in his apartment. The crazed stepfather was booked on charges of battery and first and third degree cruelty to children. Ward was not home at the time that the two stepped into the shower. The stepdaughter told the police that. He said he initially thought his stepdaughter was talking to someone on her smartphone, or actually on her speakerphone, rather, The teen lovers exited the shower to find Ward waiting on the couch. Mm. Seeing that the interaction was up close and personal, Ward pushed past his stepdaughter, who was wearing a towel, to grab the naked boy as he was trying to collect his clothes and belongings. And get out of there. Ward slammed the boyfriend into the wall and punched him repeatedly in the face and chest. 
The stepdaughter told police that... Now, I, I happen to have seen a picture of this man, and he is not a small man. He is not. I, You know, it is... It's the rare young man, 16 or 17, I'm guessing, that is going to occupy the kind of space that this full-grown man, and like, and some. I'm just going to take a poke at this guy's weight, and I'm going to say he's 260. Probably. I mean, he can, he can, when he decides to punch something, it hurts a lot. Now, I've done some amateur boxing in the past, and I can tell you, for kicks... I had a roommate who I decided to box, and this guy um, was significantly larger than me. He was about 230. I was about 185. And okay. it just felt like hammers were falling on me. I went for about two minutes, and I said, I'm just done with this. I, I couldn't, I could block his punches, but it's, I, I, I mean, do you, I don't want to get hit in the forearms and, and the side of the arm by, by, you know, this kind of weight. Right. He just had that kind, he was able to throw punches that were that heavy. And I, I bet this guy can throw punches that are that heavy, if not harder. The article goes on to say that the stepdaughter told the police that she suffered a red eye from being pushed by the stepfather. Ward admitting to, pu- admitted to punching the teen he was then arrested for... He probably said something like, hell yeah, I punched him. Yeah. Was arrested for maliciously causing a child under the age of 18 cruel, excessive, or mental pain, as well as for allowing a child under the age of 18 to witness an assault. I don't really go for any of this stuff. To me, this is a simple assault. Yes. Um, I don't, you know, the rest of this stuff just doesn't matter to me. But I wonder whether this uh, young man felt that he could defend himself. I don't know. There he is naked, right? Like, so clearly he's not carrying a concealed weapon, um, which, you know. If he is, it's very concealed. Right. (laughs) Um, But, you know, did he, because this is the, because this is sort of a social issue. There's this whole conversation that goes back i don't know how long uh probably to the shotgun wedding i guess uh that you know somehow or another it's okay to physically assault the male with which your daughter is uh you know caught in in a compromising position with right and this is not acceptable this is no more acceptable can you imagine my father-in-law Kicking in the bedroom door when we're staying at uh, his over at his house, and 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 like beating me up, and he probably could. Um, he certainly, you know, he's he's been in plenty of fights. Um, he, you know, beating me up because I've had sex with his daughter, or in the midst of having this is ridiculous. It doesn't look. The only person that's a, uh, you know, you're acting like this is somehow your vagina, and it's not. You can't act that way. It's completely unacceptable. Men, it's not funny because this guy thought the joke was true. Most of these guys are just talking. I'm going to take that young man into the living room when he comes for the date, and I'm going to scare the bejesus out of him. I'm just going to sit there and clean the gun and tell him I know how to use it and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, I just, it's completely ridiculous. Uh, it, oftentimes, you bring up the gun thing. I believe that a person has the right to defend themselves. I have, I believe they have the right to keep and bear arms. Oftentimes, people who will say things like this that we're talking about here will say, will say they feel the same way. I believe a young man, when threatened, and I, I don't mean like, you know, if you do such and such, then I will do such and right. such. It's more of an ultimatum than a threat. But like threatened like, in the very near future, I'm going to be punched or beaten up by a much larger individual who's better at uh, you know, moving his body in the world because he's been in that body longer. I think he's, it's full, fully fair for him to pull out his concealed weapon and train it on your forehead. That's well, what I think. The, the question that I have about this, and I'm not justifying the stepfather at all, but had the two been completely clothed, when he came home, would he have responded the same way? I suspect not. I mean, he clearly caught them in his compromising of position. Right, as he but can. He, he may have told the daughter. This is. I mean, this isn't just. You can't have any boys over at the house. Sure. When I'm not here. 
I, well, I mean, uh, this is as compromising as it gets. This isn't just sex that overtook the two in a moment of passion. This is sort of much more planned. Hey, let's take a shower together. You know, th that's what they intended to do. But the vast majority of fathers who act in this fashion had sex before the age of 18 with someone's daughter. Yeah. Why is it okay for you to have done it, but it's not okay for the next guy to do it? Because times have changed, and that's my daughter now. It's, I, I, it, you act like you own her. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. That's 855-450-3733 or LRN.FM on Skype. Everybody wants to know. What can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. Bitbrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at bitcoingeneralstore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Seniors thunder into a local high school parking lot like coalition forces entering Baghdad. A substitute teacher just needs to make it to her car before breaking down in tears. And a college freshman tells his roommate there's no need to hide his masturbation from him. And now a week in review that truly requires no introduction. The nation's students announced this week that they have reluctantly agreed to give the American education system yet another chance, saying they hope educators keep their promises of smaller class size, better school supplies, and intensified efforts to raise the country's international math ranking. The nation's students vowed to give the education system one more shot, despite claiming to have been burned many, many times in the past. In other news, a man overcomes alcoholism without the help of Jesus, and an outcast student and a lonely teacher have begun a somewhat endearing sexual relationship. And that was a free lesson in top-shelf journalism. For more news, videos, and reminders of your insignificance, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free 
Talk Live, 855-453-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you'd like to talk about here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Daryl. But we have been talking about a situation that went on. Was it this week, Daryl, or was it last week? Uh, It was this week. The story was from yesterday. I guess it doesn't really matter when this occurred, because this has occurred many times in many places where um, a man comes home, he thinks his daughter's talking on the speakerphone in the bathroom uh, in the shower, which is strange behavior, and um, kind of sits himself down on the couch, and out comes his daughter in a towel and a young man in less than that. And um, he p- brush- pushes past, roughly past his daughter, and uh, proceeds to pound on the young man. Now, these, are, these uh, young people are described as less than 18, and you'd think if they were 13 that they would probably say something like that. I get the impression we're talking about, I don't know, just I'm going on a limb here, 16, 17-year-olds. Those, that's what I'm thinking about in my mind. And uh, he pounds the hell out of them, and then the cops charge him for it. Now, I, I don't think that this is going to sort of solve the situation, the, the charges or anything like that. But he, I mean, it's not okay to just beat up on people. And this whole thing where dads are allowed to beat up on, uh, you know, the dates of their their kids or, th- or threaten them and that sort of thing, it it's sexist and and unacceptable. If it was his son instead of his daughter, then would he have reacted the same way? I suspect not. As do I. Let's go to. Uh... Well, before we do that, I want to tell you about uh, Quantum Vibe. Quantum Vibe is a web comic, and there are many web comics, by the way, over at BigHeadPress.com. But Quantum Vibe is a serial web comic. It's uh, about adventures in the future in space, where there are different colonies on like Mars and um, the Moon and uh, Vesta, and there's even some floating sort of satellite colonies. Some of them are quite free. Uh, they have different forms of government, and it is fascinating to see the way they interact. But you know, mostly it's a story about science fiction, and I think that it's uh, it, it's it's wonderful and surprising that you can find a web comic that's updated daily, five days a week, that you can see such an attractive comic. Um, and go take a look at it. It's at uh, BigHeadPress.com, and also they've got uh, for sale their latest volume. It's 161 full color pages. You can get it at uh, through BigHeadPress.com right there. Quantum Vibe. I read the comic, and I think it's great. Let's go to Michael calling in from Virginia Beach. Michael, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, hi. Uh, interesting story. Uh, maybe you're jumping on the story too quickly. Okay. Uh, because it hasn't gone to court and uh, oh, we really? haven't really established. I can't talk about anything until it's gone to court. I'm going to have a really boring well, show. We, we, we haven't uh, established what the real facts are. But okay. let's assume that the man uh, uh, was telling the truth when he said uh, he had never seen the boy before. Uh, that would make him justified from the point of view that he thought he had an intruder in his home raping his daughter or legal guardian, uh, uh, the uh, child whom he's a legal guardian over. That's what so, you think? Uh, that he, he, I'm saying that... Without knowing what the facts are, this is a possibility. So, you're, so do you think it's you're possible? Like Rather than that, um, so I don't know specifically what happened or what was going through this guy's mind. I tend to think I do, and I'm jumping to a conclusion. You're right. I, According to the story, it doesn't have any indication of that. Um, but okay, we it's a possibility. But don't you think that we're talking about, like... The rape scenarios, the zebra, and that the horse here is is that um, some guy caught a uh, uh, a young man with his daughter and thought that that it was appropriate to beat him up. I mean, don't men talk about that? Well, I I think probably uh, the more uh, pertinent question, not to ignore yours, I'll come back <laughs> no, to not it. that. But 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 I think probably the more pertinent question is. What's happening to our country from the standpoint of legal parent parenting, uh, the legal ownership of property, uh, the legal ownership of a country? We have this mentality created by our media, and you seem to be fostering it yourselves, uh, 
uh, on the show here today, not necessarily always, but certainly to tonight you are, uh, the whole idea we don't have uh, the right to protect our own border from in intruders. This man was protecting his border from an intruder who was raping his rights as a father. Raping? And, uh, now, what, what right is it as a father? This is what I'm trying to understand here. The right of the father, which part is being raped? Because he clearly wasn't raping the daughter. There weren't any screams coming from the bathroom. There was talking going on. <laughs> Look, uh, we're, we're hearing the same thing by people in Congress who tell us uh, we have a responsibility to sit by until uh, the uh, tens of millions of anti-Protestants who have invaded our home have uh, taken it over so completely that uh, they control our military, they control all our banks, and they control all our elections. They actually smile Do at us. Do you think that this young man that was in the bathroom with her was a Catholic? Is that what you're saying? No, I said anti-Protestant. I know, but Michael, you've called in before, and you've got this big, you've got this uh, axe to grind with uh, Catholics, and I'm, I mean, it makes you very well, no, unusual. No, no, I didn't, I didn't use that term today. There are a lot Michael, of it's not a like lot I, of Michael. I have memory. I know what callers are like. Well, I remember well, you, Mark. Mark, yes, Mark, Mark, Mark. Here, here's the deal: anti-Protestants. Uh, come under a lot of different stripes. They're atheists, they're Muslims, they're all kinds of people, Hindus, uh, uh, Buddhists, Shintus. Uh, Anti-Protestants have uh, probably as many stripes as, uh, as uh, pro-Protestants out there. So do you think that someone who is not a Protestant should not be allowed to immigrate to the United States of America? I'm saying that the reason we can't control our borders, balance our budget... That, that, that's because... not the question that I asked. And as far as oh, balancing the budget, say... the United States of America question. has had a federal deficit since before George Washington was inaugurated. There was a small gap in 1835 where there was not a debt. Oh, no, no. There was a debt under Jackson, but it was a small debt. It was in the five digits. Well, it, it actually got paid off for like a week and a half. Is that so? Okay. Yes. And then well, we, we've had a debt ever since. Yeah. The Protestants made the debt, Michael. So my question, Michael, is should someone who is not a Protestant be allowed to move to the United States of America? Uh, not illegally. No, sir. He should be arrested and charged for the damage that he's done. And after that damage has been paid... Uh, what damage does one do by coming here? They, they, they've committed a violation, which is akin to getting a parking ticket. And that that's all the, you know, the severity of crossing the border illegally I went to, is a violation. I illegally uh, went to Canada for a week because it was against the law for me to go there. All I did was buy food, uh, gasoline, and pay for stuff. All I did was make Canada more wealthy. It's ridiculous. You prevented somebody else from eating a meal. Nuts. Thanks. 855 453 Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Life's getting better. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. 
the successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. When I signed up for the Free State Project, I was excited by the prospect of moving somewhere with other people that had liberty as a goal. When I got here to New Hampshire, I was stunned by the great weather and the natural beauty. The Free State Project is helping to move liberty forward. Want to be involved? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. That's freestateproject.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way, love as your guide, and liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or you can call in using Skype. Um, our username is lrn.fm. If you've never called in using Skype before, you'll have to send a uh, a request, and we'll we can do that right. You know, we'll accept it right here on the air. You know, I've got, I'm looking at it here. Is all I have to do is go click, click, and accept it. Not a big deal. And then you can call in. The audio quality is a lot better. Again, generally, you, gen, generally, that's true. Username lrn.fm on uh, Skype. And uh, the telephone number is, again, 855-453-7333. So, uh, Daryl, I don't know where you got this story, but I believe I got it through Freedom's Phoenix. Um, that's how it came across my desk first. Now, it was at, uh, we did see it at freetalklive.com at one point, but uh, freedomsphoenix.com is a great news aggregator for people who care about the ideas of liberty. Stories that are relevant to people who care about what you know, human freedom and these concepts, these um, you know they're all collected there at freedomsphoenix.com. They have a daily um, a news dispatch thing that they'll send out to you. It's there. actually twice daily. Is, do you get it twice daily too? I get it twice morning daily. and evening. Well, and I love it. Yeah, me too. It's, I, I I feel like I know just by reading the headlines. I feel at the very least I'm in touch with what's going on. I don't have to spend that much time, um, you know, with Network news, fewer and fewer people watching that these days anyway. Freedoms with an S, phoenix.com. It is a great site. I could not recommend it more. I actually use Freedoms Phoenix, the uh, news aggregate emails, to get news articles for the daily newscast that I put out. What's that? The FPP Radio News. It is a daily five-minute newscast. And you can get that at? 
news.fppradio.com is the RSS feed. Let's go to Randy calling in from Kentucky on uh, WKCT. Randy, you're on Free Talk Live. Randy, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I now I can. Indeed. Okay. Um, that last conversation went so totally off the rails relative to the subject. I, That's I what happens when it. somebody wants to bring in another subject. And here on Free Talk Live, you can do that. I wish that one would be... Uh, Up genuine. front. A little yeah. more focused. What's that? <laughs> a little more focused yeah. on yeah. the story that you're presenting. It, it, well, you, we don't have to be focused on the story that we're presenting. Just be clear and honest when you uh, put you know, type in what the, you could, there's all kinds of people with different things they want to talk about here and I'll get to them. But you know, like I don't, I want to know what we're talking about here. Cause it's just kind of strange. So do I. And what the facts that I understood that you presented is you have two minors. You have a father, a stepfather who caught them coming out of a shower and his stepfather beat the crap out of the, of the young man. Is that correct? Is that the only facts that we know? Uh, that's the facts as we have read them that have been presented to us based on the news stories that we've read. And okay. one thing that we don't have is the exact ages of the but, teenagers. But they're, they're less, they are less than 18. They are right? less than 18, but they could be over the age of consent in Georgia. That very well could be true, but I would suggest this. I was a 17-year-old male once before. Everybody on this ago. everybody on this phone call was. <laughs> yes. And I am going to imagine that if I had been caught in that position doing that with my girl's daughter, I would have expected that. And I would have no one in my family would have ever Less charges or made a case of it because one that is incredibly disrespectful to what have Two, sex where are you going to have sex when you're 17 it's not uh, like you have an apartment no, no 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 you don't you really then you weren't a very creative 17 year old well we did you it in cars do it in a <laughs> um, you don't do it in a parent's home yeah yeah I, as a matter of fact i did well you know you got and you got so did you that's great. No, actually, I did not at that time, but that's okay. Okay. You know where um, I want yeah, my kids having sex? I would prefer them to have sex in the home because there are people, they're cops. No, no, no. I got chased by cops the law. over this. Let's talk, about the, let's talk about the law. Okay. The law says a parent can discipline their children within reason. If Punching is usually child, not within reason. Uh, but if a child is... In a parent's mind, and this is the part, and I'm going to guess you don't have children, right? I have one That's child. Right. He is six years old, and I would not gotcha. punch okay. him. Okay. No, 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 because he's six. I get that. That's, I wouldn't punch him if he was 16. <laughs> you don't conduct. What is wrong with the generation that conducts themselves this way? What is wrong with what the generation wrong? that thinks it's okay what to punch the, their boyfriends of their daughters? What is wrong with a parent responding from his mindset that this is really wrong. He can, there is something way, way wrong here, and he may feel that his stepdaughter is in peril. Yeah, he has no way to in know. In peril? And that's the point is you've made some assumptions. Right, and I've made the assumptions based on my own life, where I had sex with young women. Well, wait a second, Randy, we're talking, right? Come on. You said I made some assumptions, and I have made some yes. assumptions. I've made right. the assumptions. We're talking about a situation similar to just situations that I've been, except for the beating up part, um, where, you know, yeah, I had sex with people, what, young women, when I was, uh, you know, below the age of, above the age of 16, below the age of 18, in the houses of, you know, their parents and my parents' houses, wherever we could get alone, because that's what we did at the time, and it's not terribly unusual. And people, 16 and 17-year-olds, have been doing it since way? time began. Would you expect it to be treated that in that way? Have I would, and that's taught? really the problem. The problem is that it is okay to treat young men this way. 
Why didn't he, if he, if he feels he has a claim on his daughter's stepdaughter's vagina, why didn't he beat her? Wow. Okay. This is the problem when you mix laws for adults with laws for minors and try to intellectually process this based on a level playing field that they're the same. They're okay. Not. Well, help me out. They, well, are the you age of consent in Georgia is 16, by the way. Child? Are you protective of your child? Absolutely. I do not want him in danger. Okay. By crazy now, men who think they could beat him up if he happens to be kissing on their daughter. This is the luxury of having a young boy instead of oh, a Oh, I just couldn't girl. possibly understand. No, I'm not saying you couldn't possibly understand, but I'm saying you should expect it. If you were in that situation. Then I guess, that how about this? Potentially Randy, how about I just give him a place to do it at my house? You want to take a shower together, do it at my place. You know what? That's between you and your wife and your daughter. Well, what about my son? I have a son. Then you really need to have that conversation with. So let me ask you this, Randy. If this father wanted to come over to my house, if I said that it was okay for them to do this, above the age of 16, below the age of 18, at my house, if he came over to my house and he wanted to brutalize my son on my property, do I have the right to pull out a gun and shoot him? Absolutely you do. Excellent. At least we're, on, at least we're understanding that this is threatening oh, absolutely. behavior. Absolutely. Oh, no, no, no. It is about protection. And what are you it is protecting about here? It's a parent's right to enforce what they feel is reasonable to protect their Ex- children. Well, excellent. What about prote- no, you're talking about protecting, protecting property and that sort of thing. If a little girl comes along, picks flowers no, 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 in your no, no, front no, yard, can you shoot her? Children. I'm not talking about protecting property. Don't even cross that line. I, I just, it, it, it sounds the same to me. Insane. You're saying that your daughter at the age of 16 in Georgia, is who is able to make that decision, cannot make that decision. You think your child is property. You what? just said that, right? No, I don't. I, I'm not you the one proposing to beat people up over them. Oh, thanks for the call, Randy. Appreciate it. Um, 855-450 free. I don't know. He just either stopped talking or maybe he heard the music. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, take your calls in a minute. 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. 9121595 Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. 
The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippie! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or you can call us at uh, lrn.fm on Skype. That's the username. You'll have to send a request uh, early on if you have never done that before. But it's it's really great sound quality. That's lrn.fm. So I guess I should just come right out and say it. I have the radical notion that you own yourself. The radical notion that your children, at least at a certain age, own themselves. And that age, I don't think it's 18. And as a matter of fact, I think that it's much younger than that. I think it's a, you know, historically, it's been about 12. That's when bar mitzvahs are and many societies have, that's when puberty is. And many societies, that's when uh, adulthood sort of begins. I'm not saying that uh, I think that every 13-year-old is qualified to do every task that an adult is qualified to do. I don't think that every 21-year-old is qualified to do every task that a full grown, you know, quote unquote, full grown adult is, you know, capable of doing. But I do believe they own themselves. Yes. And that they should be responsible for their actions. Now, and, and I also think that, uh, by the way, if you don't act this way, your kids are going to just lie to you. This is what happened. This is really comes down to being un, uh, untrue. This guy created an atmosphere where this daughter didn't feel that she could uh, be, you know, tell the truth. Now, she could have acted right, I suppose, and not done anything in his home, but, you know, it's pretty uncommon. Or done it a little earlier. That way the boyfriend was gone before dad got home. He probably came home early. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, if you believe like we do, consider the Free State Project. This isn't just about kids, by the way. This is about everything. This is about human freedom. The Free State Project is a project where we believe we've picked up and moved our lives to New Hampshire because we believe so firmly in the idea that the maximum role of civil government should be the protection of life, liberty, and property that we were willing to pick up and move our lives. Now, you can find out more about the Free State Project by going to freestateproject.org, freestateproject.org, but you can try it out. By coming to the Porcupine Freedom Festival this summer, January 20, excuse me, June 22nd through the 29th uh, up in Lancaster, New Hampshire. The website is Porkfest, that's P-O-R-C, as in porcupines, we call ourselves porcupines. Peaceful, calm little creatures until you mess with them, in which case you're going to get the quills. Porkfest.com. 
Let's go back to the phones. Robert calling in from Vermont. Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. I do not hear Robert. All right, we'll put Robert on hold. And we'll go to Dave calling in from Las Vegas. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. How's it, how's it going? All's well. What's uh, on your mind? Mark, you need to promote those, those Protestant values, you know, the <laughs> ones that promote, like, dropping bombs and invading countries and creating oppressive laws. Well, I'm, I'm not sure that uh, war is a Protestant value. Uh, Martin Luther was a pretty peaceful well, guy. I guess. But, I, mean, I mean, not not personally, you know, every single person. If that's that's more of, you know, making a generalization. But If this is a Protestant in, in government, general, then, then, then that, that's the results? Okay. I'm with you. But but I think I, I think at least the guy on the phone that was talking about that, that that was his values, was more of, of yeah, what I'm saying. But, I'm not sure what his values were. I mean, I'm just... <laughs> This is the problem with trying to sort of warp a conversation. If you want to talk about anti-Protestantism invading the United States, then let's talk about that. And tell the phone screener that that's what you want to talk about. Not, yeah, I want to talk about the thing in Georgia yeah. where the guy beat up the stepdaughter's boyfriend. Yeah. If we want to talk about anti-Protestants promoting um, illicit behavior among amongst our children, I suppose we could have that conversation, although I'd like to see the evidence that uh, young people at the age of 16 and 17 haven't been having sex all along in the United States. Um, but, you know, nonetheless. So what's on your mind? Right. Uh, well, I mean, you know, and this is another generalization, but you have a lot of these people that call themselves conservatives that talk about freedom and liberty. And their definition of freedom and liberty has nothing to do with freedom and liberty because, you know, a lot of the things that they'll promote is kind of what I was saying, like, you know, dropping bombs and going in wars and stuff like that. And, and you know, having these oppressive laws, they'll talk about rule of law a lot. That, that and, their version you know, of freedom, Dave, is you are free to do as we tell you. Right, exactly. And, well, and in a way, it kind of gives... Sorry, in a way, it kind of gives other people, you know, like me, a bad name because, you know, that's what they promote in the media. When they talk about freedom and liberty, they're usually referring to, you know, the conservative Republicans that have a warped idea of freedom and liberty. Yeah. And I they're able to I think kind it's of fine for that. you to protect your property, but I don't think that. I find it very difficult to imagine that this man believed that his daughter and his property were somehow, um, you know, under siege by a, uh, you know, in a shower. I mean, it's the the rape victim in the shower is a pretty rare situation. I, I don't know. I mean, this this all seems very you're, odd. You're to more me. likely to get. You know, sliced to death by a knife in the shower. Right. Now, if you believe... If you, psycho is any indication of what happens in the shower. If you, if you believe that you're just able to beat up anybody who comes onto your property, I disagree with you. I think you need to have... Like, there needs to be really fair warning if that's what the rules are on your property. Look, I'm a deranged lunatic, and I beat up people randomly who come on my property. Put up a sign that says... Trespassers will be violated. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> well, Dave, I mean, I, go ahead. So, sorry, I, I, I think that, I mean, if he if he would have told, you know, the kid, okay, you have to leave, and then the kid tried to physically assault him, but obviously, no, I mean, it, it's, you're, first of all, it's a stepdaughter. I know some people, you know, adopt their stepdaughter. I don't think it matters. You know, they could have been trying to conserve water, too. You oh, know, God, you know, get out of here, Dave. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't conserving water. Well, it was other fluids they were conserving. They, they were conserving water, but that might not have been their intent. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I, I don't think that that conserves water. I can take a shower with a lot less water uh, with uh, about how to, trading spaces with my wife. And you know what I hate? What makes me bananas? Porcelain bathtubs. Who said this This was a good idea? Let's take one of the slickest surfaces in the world, run water over it, and then bathe with soapy you know, soapiness. What? What? This is no wonder so many people are injured and killed in showers every year. It's insane. Let's go back to see if we can get Robert on here. Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? I don't know what's going on. Put him on hold and see what I can do with uh, Wit. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello? Hello, Wit? Hello, Wit. Yes, I'm in. Come in, Arizona. Yes, I'm in. Wit. You're on Free Talk I'm Live. Here. You with me? Yes. Speak your mind. Great. In the little time that I have, I have never been bar mitzvahed, 
because I'm Roman Catholic. Okay. Like I like to call rednecks like Michael Protestants. <laughs> you got confirmed, though. Yes, but I also believe in the commandment about honoring my mother and father. Yeah, it's it's a and it's I a difficult one to sort of understand what it means at any given time. Well, I, I simply put, anybody that lives under their parents' roof should honor their parents. So you think the man should have instead beaten up his daughter? I didn't really tune in that early to hear okay. about how he beat up his daughter, but I do he believe in corporal punishment. Do I believe in a kid having the crap beat out of him because he was boning my daughter? Well, given the circumstances, I'm not going to really feel that bad for the kid boning my daughter or that dude's daughter in the, his house. Uh, those are the rules. If you don't like him, you can get that. Well, how does he know the rules? The rules haven't been laid out for this gentleman. Can I say that on your station? I, I wish I you know. wouldn't. I would prefer to do it. Okay, I won't. I'm just asking. I want to switch the subject back to somebody that is hateful, bigoted. But like you mentioned before, sometimes when a caller's on the phone, he has a hard time differentiating people in the studio, let alone even realizing that somebody in the studio is talking over them when such yeah, I think that's true. is trying to make a point. It is true. But, Daryl, what isn't true is you caused you, – you, you accused me of engaging in hate speech, and then I went on a rant about me hating Muslims and all that, when I never mentioned the word Muslim once, nor did I ever mention or advocate nuking Muslims or using atomic weaponry. I did have and always will defend the dropping of an atomic bomb on a city where where in it, That's children for. were murdered, or innocent children were killed, excuse me, but the men and women that were working in those factories every day for the previous 12 years for the evil empire in Japan, they weren't innocent at all. And just like you guys... What about see, their next-door neighbors? So this is the question like I have. Carol. You keep on ta- bringing this back I, I, to the, the, the Nagasaki and Hiroshima. You know, but well, here, I, I want to ask you, I lived not too far from a weapons manufacturer in Bradenton, on the, on the border of Bradenton and Sarasota. I heard you say that. I'll respond. You don't need to, unless you want to tell... I don't have much time. I know, I've heard you say that before. The Patriot missiles that you are object to, your tax money paying for, aren't being used to obliterate the Chinese so that we can take over China. In fact, they're not being used to obliterate any country so we can They're take killing over. innocent people they in Yemen. I know that. The children that happen to have parents that are murderers are innocent. Thanks for the not call, the people. 855-450-FREE. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand-scraped bamboo for just one eighty nine a square foot and three-quarter inch pre-finished hickory for an unheard of two fifty nine dollars a square foot. Get free samples at your local store plus 22-month special financing is available. So go to LumberLiquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by by Monday, March 31st. Breathe it in, kid. Clean, fresh air thanks to these new air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are stronger than ever. And Granger's got over 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from. Just ordered a new batch from Granger.com today. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash air handler or stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, March 29th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.82 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,294 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $500. The AP reports the United States is considering allowing shipments of portable air defense systems to Syrian rebels, according to a U.S. official, as President Obama sought to reassure Saudi Arabia's king that the U.S. is not taking too soft a stance in Syria and other Mideast conflicts. President Obama and King Abdullah met for more than two hours at the aging monarch's desert oasis outside the capital city of Riyadh. Obama advisors said the two leaders spoke frankly about their differences on key issues, with the president assuring the king that he remains committed to the Gulf region's security. Saudi officials have grown particularly concerned about what they see as Obama's tepid response to the Syrian civil war and have pressed the U.S. to allow them to play a direct role in sending the rebels the air defense systems commonly known as man pads. While administration officials have previously ruled out that option, a senior official said it was being considered, in part because the U.S. has been able to develop deeper relations with the Syrian opposition over the past year. The official said no official decision has been made and the president might ultimately decide against the proposal. Obama's Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes says, We are in a better place today than we were seven months ago. As recently as February, the administration insisted Obama remained opposed to any shipments of man pads to the Syrian opposition. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, top Russian security official Alexander Malavani says his government faces growing threats from the United States and its allies in NATO, stemming from U.S. hysteria about the annexation of Crimea. Malavani warned he is seeing a growing number of U.S. efforts to weaken Russian influence in a region that is of vital importance, referring to Eastern Europe. Earlier this week, President Obama began talking up a significant increase in U.S. and NATO deployments into Eastern Europe, supposedly to reassure Poland, Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania that NATO would defend them from Russian invasion. Instead of being a stabilizing influence, such deployments have fueled concern in Russia and have Russia's regional allies, notably Belarus, pushing for bigger Russian deployments in the area to reassure them against NATO expansion. Six Dollar Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Go look at their shirts. They're witty, hip, smart, and liberty-oriented. Shop Six Dollar Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. Wired.com reports, Mark Zuckerberg is putting together a lab where a team of Facebook engineers will build flying drones, satellites, and infrared lasers capable of beaming internet connections to people down here on Earth. The Facebook Connectivity Lab has an engineering staff that spans many of the world's leading experts in aerospace and communications technology, including researchers from NASA and the National Optical Astronomy Observatory. The company is now adding engineers from a British company called Ascenta, an outfit that helped create the world's longest solar-powered unmanned aircraft. All this may seem like a stretch for a social networking company, but it's a necessary part of Zuckerberg's efforts to bring the net to the vast parts of the world that still don't have it. And though the general public may not realize it, Facebook has a long history of building new hardware that can advance its cause. The new Facebook lab is exploring the possibility of using solar-powered high-altitude planes to provide internet access in suburban areas. These could stay aloft for months, be quickly deployed, and deliver reliable internet connections, according to Facebook. Then, for more remote areas, the lab is looking towards low-orbiting satellites. In both cases, it aims to beam internet to the people using what's called free space optical communication. Basically, it's a way of transmitting data through infrared lasers. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
interesting new ad campaign from Applebee's, which is encouraging customers to visit the restaurant ironically. They're designed to attract young people to Applebee's by inviting them to ridicule its food service and atmosphere. Here, take a look. What do you guys want to do? We could go to Applebee's. <laughs> no, let's seriously go to Applebee's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look guys, it's grilled. <laughs> it's just like my neighborhood restaurant, only completely geographically not specific. Yeah, nothing like a wild time at Applebee's, right? <laughs> Applebee's. Wouldn't it be funny to go to Applebee's? I like Isn't that it. persuasive? Yeah. But, you know, they're not resting on their laurels. They're adding new menu items designed to be ridiculed outright, like the fajita cordon bleu and the chicken strip explosion. Those sound ridiculous. I know. But, you know, so far, this has been so successful that Applebee's is actually prepping a second series of ads aimed at customers who enjoy making fun of annoying young people who do things ironically. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Last four digits there spell out free. So if you've got one of those phones that actually has uh, the numbers on it, still, the letters on it still, you can spell out free. 3733. Or you can call us on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. Send a user request and we'll uh, approve it. Then you can call in and have a really great sound quality, generally. 855 450 free. This is the live Saturday edition. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. By the way, I should have told everybody where Ian is. Often our first seat host is Ian, and he is off at a uh, he's at a ball for the Hundred Night Shelter, which is a um, drop in homeless shelter here in Keene, New Hampshire. It is open for exactly 100 nights. Yes, rather than being a place where uh, homeless people can live, it is a place where homeless people can sleep. Um, they're actually. Uh, have to get out and get to work at uh, 7.30 in the morning. Or they have to get out, get out at 7.30. You don't have to go to work, but you can't stay here. <laughs> so it's uh, it. I, I like it for many reasons. It it helps people in dire straits, but it doesn't. It's it's the it's the safety net as opposed to the hammock situation. So I, I really love Hundred Nights for that reason. I believe they're at hundrednights.org if you wanted to find sounds, out more about them. Sounds right. Yeah. So again, eight fifty five four fifty free. We have been talking about a situation here where a father beat up a young man who was apparently showering with his daughter and i get the impression that these uh, these people we're, we're assuming for the sake of uh, having a conversation that these people are over the age of 16 which is consent and so far in georgia where in georgia, this happened so far we seem to be on the in the minority and believing that uh, it's not okay to beat up the young man in this situation now, if you feel like property rights have been violated, it's pretty obvious that the property rights were violated primarily by the daughter, not by the young man. Yes. And somehow or another, the young man needs to bear the beating in this. And I say that this is just societal prejudice against young people. Well, it's also akin to, let's just suppose for a second, Mark, that you're not married and okay. you're dating someone. All right. And then you find out that your girlfriend has also been dating another man. All right. Normally, the way this plays out is you would get mad at the other guy. That's the sort of the the, the old story. Yeah, that, that's the socially acceptable thing. That's what you see on Jerry Springer all the time. If I had a commitment to, if there was, if there was a, a spoken, uh, articul articulated commitment with this woman that we were going to be monogamous, and she wasn't going to, it wasn't monogamous with me, then I would say my dispute is with her, not with someone else. Right. So. But generally, you see the two guys then wind up fighting over a woman that cheated on them. Right. It's ridiculous. Let's go to Mike in uh, Florida. Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, this is Mike. Is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to say first, you, you guys have a great show, and uh, I, love you, the, I love your thought, thought process. I think you have a bright future. I'll just cut to the chase quickly. First of all, the way that these other people that are calling in process information is pretty lacking. I mean, imagine, for instance, if instead of a guy, let's say this girl, his daughter or his stepdaughter, would have been a lesbian, let's say, for example, and it would have been a girl that he caught in the shower with his stepdaughter. Would he, would he have beat the, the heck out of her, too? It, I mean, so I it obviously not. goes out. I don't, well, I don't think too many people would say, yeah, he would have beat the girl up. 
But that's so it goes to your point about it being a, a young male. It's okay to beat him up because he's a male because he's supposed to understand. And don't get me wrong, I understand these callers having emotional, um, you know, being emotionally attached to, yes, he sh- that kid should know better. He shouldn't be doing this, all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's one thing about callers saying that, you know, what well, he should have known it was wrong. If, if, if it was wrong, then it would be legally wrong. I mean, if, like you assume, that the kids were over 16, and, and if they were under 16, it wouldn't make it much better. I mean, if they were 14 having sex, uh, you know, the father beating the kid up would have, wouldn't have been any uh, less wrong. Well, but that, but I don't know what wrong is. Wrong is kind of funny. When you, get a, when you put a bunch of rules on your kid, you can expect that they're going to be broken. Um, I, I think that if you okay. want to have a honest relationship with your child, that you need to allow them to grow in sort of a natural way. Um, I mean, allow them to make mistakes. Right. Even the people that didn't have sex in their parents' houses probably drank when their parents didn't want them to. Um, a variety of things. And what would happen if they were over the age of eighteen doing it in the house? Would it have been okay to beat him up then? Good point. But 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 there again, even going back to the point if, if she would be a lesbian it would have been another female, he well, wouldn't have beat her up. I don't think I don't many think people so. would think yeah, he would have he would have beat her up. He, so he probably is, wouldn't, but Mike, this guy is from Athens, Georgia. Are you gonna be prejudiced now? Where <laughs> I, I I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> Athens, Georgia isn't okay. that far away. So okay. I, I know the mindset of people in that region. If the you. daughter was a lesbian, then there's probably a very good chance that he would have kicked the daughter out of his house. Well, there you go. And that's another thing. And and, and and that can be judged rightly or wrongly, too. But when you're talking about physically beating a person, that's, you know, that we have to put a stamp on or a stop to. Now, if he wants to kick his own daughter out for being a lesbian, that would be another another topic. I think it's but his, to, I, to I not, think it's his prerogative. I the call. Yeah, you're right. But to not have 90, and I think that's wrong, personally. I mean, yeah, but I'm not for that's it. That's the point. But, 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 if, but, if, but if that's the way he wants to live in his household, that's one thing. He's not physically imposing himself on another person. But to beat somebody, I mean, to, to not have most of your callers, the majority of your callers calling in and saying, you know, that this is wrong for the father to beat the person is kind of a shock. But then again, oh, it it's doesn't not shock, a shock me at all. Um, I think that well, this, is, and, 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 this is a cultural and conversation. And you all the time. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's just sad the way people process thought, though. I mean, it's almost like they speak in cliches or I think uh, that I absolutely know, agree with you on like. this, Mike. It's it's like they just sort of pick up the old thoughts that somebody else had and said, oh, these must be the good ones. I was told these were the one, the ones that most people have. That's not a that's not thinking. It's not even thinking. It, well, most people, and that's the whole point. Most people don't actually think. That, there's not a thought that goes from one thing to another. They they attach themselves to a cliche or a certain feeling almost. They form it into a thought, and they just go with it. And even if they get during the course of conversation, if you're debating, as, as you notice, most of the time when you debate somebody, 95% of the people will not change their mind. Even once they yeah. realize to themselves, wow, wow, he got me there. Yeah, that's right. They just can't allow themselves to do it. They have to dig in. Debates so, don't I mean, work. That's why you have, and uh, now on talk radio, a debate is fine because it keeps people listening. Uh, but debates don't True. work if you want to if you want to convince somebody, you have to start with getting them to say yes about things, agree with you in ways, and uh, then you know allow their own mind to come to the conclusion as you sort of lead them down the path. It's still not foolproof, but it's the only system that that works. Um, well, you know, you're right. And that's for somebody who still has to be somewhat open-minded. I just find most people, look, I went to school with with uh, one guy in particular that uh, moved up to the northeast, uh, you know, very, very, very liberal area. And from from what he used to believe to what he believes now is totally different. He's, you know, inundated and he's surrounded by a certain thought processes and he falls into it yeah. the same way on both sides of the spectrum. Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, whatever, most people fall under the heading where they really and truly don't think for themselves. And that's why this country and every other country that was and will ever be formed will follow the same, you know, pretty much uh, uh, way because uh, the people can't think for themselves. Good thoughts, Mike. Thanks so much. And and to me, all all right, thank you all. Appreciate it. Let's go to Robert in Vermont. Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, man, back. Hope you're feeling better. Yep, thanks. He sounds yeah. much better. Yes, he does. He sounds 100 percent better. Quick, quick, Robert. Hey, you know, I've been, I've been sitting here and I've been listening to this, and and 
you know, I mean, there have been some, you know, some good talking points and stuff like that. But, I mean, what do you expect this guy to do? Go over to the kid and shake his hand and give him a cigar? Well, I think that there's a difference. Um, I, I think that, you know, obviously in this circumstance, the guy's upset. Now, I personally don't think... I think that he should create a welcoming atmosphere for these young people and talk to them about protection so that he we're not dealing with a situation where somebody gets pregnant. That's this is the opportunity here. There's I mean, you've had sex, nothing bad happens from sex except venereal diseases and pregnancy. These are the things that we need to protect ourselves against. They just got done violating the sanctuary in this guy's house. I don't know that his his house isn't sanctified. He does it in his house. He got he poops in that bathroom, rubber. <laughs> Thanks for the call. 855 450 free free talk live. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless free market non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Hey, it's Guy Fieri. If there are good times going on and you're not part of them because of heartburn, get back in the game by rolling out the Rolaids. Don't let heartburn keep you from enjoying the things you love. Rolaids gets you back in the action fast. Its dual active formula neutralizes more acid than Tums. For acid indigestion, upset stomach, and heartburn, get rapid relief with Rolaids. R O L A I D S? Now that's how you spell relief. Use as directed. Acid neutralization may not correlate with symptom relief. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. 
Get educated. We use coins.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-453. That's the Pro XPN toll-free call-in line. That's 855-450-3733. And you can actually call in and talk about whatever you want here on Free Talk Live. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. And we try to make it easy on you. You can call in, um, you can call in on the Skype line. And when, when you call in, by the way, on Skype line, use LRN.FM, you're going to be put on hold, especially if it's during the, um, the midst of the show. You can use the messaging on Skype to tell me what you want, and then I can bring you on. Or I can wait till the break, and then I can type and try to figure that out for you, um, just for a little bit of um, housekeeping here. Some people have had some difficulty trying to figure it out. So anyway... 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM on Skype. I love BuzzBox Coffee. And the reason I love BuzzBox Coffee is not just because it is high-end, delicious, shade-grown, organic coffee, but because they care about the people that from whom they buy the coffee. And they have a larger mission just to make life generally better in countries that aren't, so good and aren't as nice as the United States. Fact of the matter is, so for every 10 listeners that we get signed up with BuzzBox, Free Talk Live is able to give another microloan out to help somebody make a business so they can make a better life for themselves. And that's why you should go to coffee.freetalklive.com, sign up for the, the subscription there, get a free pound of coffee, of BuzzBox coffee. Sign up, get a free pound of BuzzBox coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. Help us help 100 families around the world. That's what we're hoping to do. And you'll get some great coffee in the process. This is the kind of program I love because it doesn't give a handout. It gives a hand up and you get something in the process. They give you great coffee and you never have to worry about coffee again because you get on their subscription program. They just send it to you. If for whatever reason you end up a little more coffee than you expected, it's no problem. You can give a pound as a gift. People will love it. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go. By the way, it's Mark with you. And Daryl. Sorry, I didn't know, don't know if I introduced you, Daryl. If I have, if that's a second introduction, I forgive me. Let's go to Vinny, calling in from uh, Virginia Beach, listen, listening to WNIS. Vinny, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, how are you doing today? All is well, sir. And you? Uh, I'm great. Um, I actually had, I just want to make a quick comment. Assuming the girl was underage and the guy was not, not, then not so. I personally would, oh, that's not so. The, they were I, both I under 18. Was. That's um, the only thing we know. Uh, well, uh, assuming, you know, his daughter was 14 and he was 17, let's say, I might be a little angry myself, but it, depending upon what was happening, if it was purely consensual and nothing was going on, no aggression towards her or whatever, then I probably wouldn't punch the guy, just chase him out of my house. Yeah, I think there's anyway, a, uh, I, th- there's, I think there's an age here that could be a problem, right? Like if I came home um, and my son, who is six, was showering with uh, his 17-year-old babysitter and they were naked, then I got a problem. Yeah. You know, that's but you're not going story. to beat up the babysitter. You're going to have a discussion about this is not appropriate, well, and you're not the babysitter anymore. The damage could be done at that point, and I don't know what the proper uh, you know way to hand. I do not know the proper way to handle this. Um, honestly, that that particular situation is not a parenting situation I've been in, but I don't think that this is a problem with calling the law at that point. Um, you know, I mean. That that is the organization that uh, you know handles this stuff. Even though it's a monopoly organization, probably not as efficient as it could be. It is the only organization I have to call. I don't think shooting her is the uh, the the answer. No, hey. it's definitely not the answer. Um, however, hello. Yep, I'm here, sir. Oh, okay. I thought I was hung up on uh, on accident or whatever. Oh, that anyway, happens all the time um, on talk radio. They just don't, they don't even say bye. Um, I just wanted to say one more thing. About that, and I wanted to talk about the flat tax real quick after that. Okay. Basically, um, I mean, I personally would rather be punched than have the law, you know, be – I would rather be the victim of an assault 
to teach me a lesson than spend five years in prison for statutory rape. Or something if I was like a seventeen-year-old you know? man, I might agree with you on that one. Um, but yeah. as a forty-three-year-old man, I prefer not to have to be in a physical altercation with somebody. I'm going to be, I'm going to be hurt for weeks after something like that. So well, you know. Anyway, I can see why different people have different uh, different decisions on that. Yeah. Tell me about the flat tax, the, and tell me tell me the really awesome stuff about uh, you, know, gov- you know really you, that evenly spread out government tyranny. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, basically on that, I think that it should not be based on income at all. I think it should be as the flat tax is based on sales. So like every single person is is you know so like the people who make no money. Still don't get taxed unless they spend money on something. That's well, the, not a like flat a 20- tax. The, the flat tax, actually, as it's proposed by Neil Bortz and uh, his crew, is actually has this uh, sort of government. No, that that's the fair that tax. Oh, that's the fair tax. Flat tax is what Steve Forbes was okay. advocating, to where the yeah. tax rate is the same for everyone. I see, like a twenty five percent across, well, across like ten percent. Uh, well, what I mean then is, um, I actually did the numbers on this, and if we had a twenty five percent sales tax. With how much these people currently spend while being taxed like crazy for income before they can even spend the money, uh, they would be the government would take in as much money as it does now. But of course, yep. because there there's no income tax or anything like that, and then people aren't spending billions and billions it's, of dollars. It's on not that I disagree taxes. with you. Um, like I see that I see some value. I do disagree with you, but I I see some value in a fair in a VAT tax. However, first I want to see the Sixteenth Amendment completely repealed and removed from the books. And then the next day we can talk about a VAT tax. But until that's done, you mean the, income the, tax? the income tax, right? Well, and until that is yeah. done, you're going to see the government do both. That's right. what they're going to do. Yeah. And, and that's the way the well, fair tax legislation is currently written is that if the 16th Amendment isn't repealed within six years, then this bill goes away. But as we know, you know, they amend things to make temporary programs permanent all the time. So if the fair tax ever does get passed, you're going to wind up with a national sales tax plus a national income tax plus well, this weird monthly welfare program because to every what... man, woman, and child in the country gets a check for the amount of tax that they might possibly maybe spend in the coming month. And this is what D.C. does. They reward their friends. They punish their enemies. The income tax, as it exists today, allows um, the Washington, D.C. to reward farmers and beekeepers and a, a variety of people who have managed to lobby the right way to get the right thing. Um, and it, it doesn't hold oh. people responsible for their own actions because they don't want that, Vinny. Here, here's a uh, – that is true. Here's a, uh, a little – three statistics, three little fun facts. Okay, um, quick, quick. The NFL – the NFL, General Electric, and Goldman Sachs paid zero dollars in taxes. General Electric and Goldman Sachs are in Obama's administration. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised at all. I I, I know that big companies manage to, uh, to to get without get off without paying taxes. That's what they do. Thanks yeah. so much for the call, Vinny. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Let's go to Skype. I want to see if I can make this work. Is it chic? Chic. It's Sheikh Essentific. What is it you like to talk about, sir? Um, I will talk about the same issue that you were talking about, uh, uh, that her father beat up her stepdaughter's boyfriend. I think in Pakistan, it's uh, really an issue that you find someone in your house stranger. I want to hear uh, what happens in Pakistan, I, Sheikh, if you just hold on. Um, I'm going to use that because I can't get through the whole thing. So hold the line, 855-450, free. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. 
or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you're going to go You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, wait, now. Now. wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855 It's Mark with you. And Daryl. 855-450-3733. That is the Pro XPN call-in line here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. And talking about Pro XPN, Pro XPN is a virtual private network. That's what a VPN is. Pro XPN, VPN, it's like extreme PN is, uh, is the idea there. And a lot of people don't know what a virtual private network is. But what it does is it co- kind of creates this encrypted tunnel through which you can reach your, um, through your ISP to the, the website that, um, that, you're, that you're trying to go to. So your internet service provider is your ISP. What they're doing is they're logging everything you do online and keeping that log for months, if not years, likely years, certainly months. And they'll turn that over to any law enforcement agency that asks for whatever reason. And you may say to yourself, what do I have to fear? Well, you know, a lot of people out there over time have found, huh, certainly I did have something to fear. And I thought I was just doing normal stuff. They were doing normal stuff. But once... Uh, you know, once the information's out there, you never know exactly what is going to happen. So it's good to be 
mm, protected online, and a, a VPN will help you do that. Also, a lot of people are doing torrenting. Now, torrenting doesn't mean you're downloading and stealing or anything like that. There's all kinds of stuff on torrents that you um, you can do and you, uh, you listen to and watch and, and those sorts of things. And ProXPN allows you to do that, too, if you use their premium um, edition. Now, to get their premium edition at a nice low price, you can use FTL20 to get 20% off. If you get the annual plan, that's about 5 bucks a month that you get to protect yourself. By the way, if you this will be you can use this on any device you've got. So not just any device you want at any given time. So if you're using it at the home on the lap, on the desktop, that's cool. You want to take it on your laptop and use it there, that's fine too. You can use it on your uh, smartphone, whatever it protects you because there are people out there in the world that are they're watching what you do online trying to get any information from your phone that they can get. ProXPN protects you there, too. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. That's FTL as in Free Talk Live. Use coupon code FTL20 and get the security and privacy that you've got a right to. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Let's go back to, uh, I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and say Sheik because I'm not so great with uh, what I heard there. Sheik, can you hear me? Sheik. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Have you got the audio turned down on whatever way you're listening to the show? Because I kind of hear a little bit of feedback. Yes, uh, I'm listening from the TuneIn app. Can you turn that down? Turn the volume down on that? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you so much. And then tell me what they do to uh, kids that get caught showering together in Pakistan. Um, I think it's really a big issue that uh, someone might kill that boy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the kids are below the 18 years of age. Then uh, he must be slapped one time and... Uh, he must ask the boy to get out of the house. But if he is above the 18, then uh, uh, actually it is banned to have sex out of wedlock in Pakistan. So uh, they can be jailed for this. So if he's above the age of 18, it could, he could be killed. If he was below the age of 18, he wouldn't. He'd probably just be beaten up. Uh, but uh, above the 18, if uh, he's uh, from educated family and uh, he's caught in the educated family, then he would he would be jailed for this because according to the law, it's banned in Pakistan. What's banned exactly, Sheik? Uh, to have sex out of the wedlock. Out of wedlock. Okay, that was what I was having a little different difficult. Yeah, I I don't doubt you for a second. I think that this is the sort of um, it's the it's this paternalistic old religious mindset from thousands of years ago, um, and it doesn't matter the religion. It just it, it all comes from the same sort of idea, and it it doesn't forward anything. It doesn't help. See, thanks for so much for the call. Um, it, what helps is talking to your kids about protecting protection against pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Right, yes. and if I had to guess. And I, I know that I'm speculating here as we have been doing throughout the night is trying to speculate at, you know, what was going through the father's mind, what was going through the daughter's mind, what was going through the boyfriend's mind. And Mark, one thing that you keep saying, and it makes a lot of sense that there should be communication within the family. The father and the daughter should have conversations about what is appropriate behavior within the house. This is something that I will not tolerate in my house. Or, hey, if you're going to do this, then you should make sure that you take these precautions. If the father or stepfather, I'm just going to say father for a lack of better Yeah, you know, he's a father as far word. as I'm concerned. I hate the you know, stepfather. Father. If the father is responding in the way that he is alleged to have responded, then my guess is he does not have the best relationship with the daughter. If you have a bunch of rules, you're going to have a bunch of violations. If there's freedom within the home to speak about the things that people want, um, you know, that they, they need in their lives, whatever that might be, then you're going to have a lot of communication because you're going to be far better off with the truth from your kid than you are with trying to, uh, you know, beat them into line. All that does is drive them out of the house. Right. And so, something else that I want to speculate at real quick and pose a hypothetical question, if it was his son instead of his daughter. And he walked in on his son coming out of the shower with the a girlfriend. Would he have, you know, responded the same way, or would have he said, "Hey, son, good job. Or Want a he, beer?" Or would he have beaten up his son? 
Um, like right. It's it's obviously you know there's this thing about beating up girls that's uh, that's uncommon. Let's go to uh, rather than us speculating, let's go to Donald. Uh, he wants to talk about uh, the Free State Project. Donald calling in from Maryland. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hello. Um, I actually just recently got into the Free State Project, and I'm going to be moving in September awesome. to join the Free State Project. You can find out more and- at freestateproject.org. Okay, one thing I'm, I'm questioning about, I have one other topic to bring up is, is there any significance to 20,000? Is there going to be like a, a revolution that sparks, or is there some <laughs> movement or anything of the sort? So um, the, the Free State Project is a movement to get 20,000 liberty-loving individuals to sign up at a website, that's freestateproject.org, that pledges that within the time frame that we reach 20,000, I think we're 15,500 now, moving right along, um, that everybody will pick up and move to one place. Within five years after the 20,000th signature. That's right. And what it was, was this, it was a doctoral thesis uh, by the guy who created the Free State Project, uh, Jason Sorens, and what he did was he studied sort of the amount of people that it would take to create a movement and to make sort of some some sort of difference in one of the smallest states in the union and he looked at things like the mormons and the the hippies that moved to vermont and um how they changed the the atmosphere of the the place the mormons changed dramatically as you can imagine <laughs> wasn't too much there as far as uh you know white folks um in utah and uh, you know what it really is just a number that he came up with and he has since um you know retracted the number and said that it really would only take 2,000 really dedicated people, and we've already got 1,500 in the state, and here in New Hampshire, we've essentially got a libertarian veto. There are 80,000, excuse me, there are 80 people who the uh, New Hampshire Liberty Alliance has given an 80% rating to um, who are part of sort of a liberty caucus, and that liberty caucus controls the vast majority of the votes. Uh, There are a few votes that don't that don't have to go through that that number that 80 percent number so um yeah the 80 person number so i i don't know if i've answered your question but essentially the twenty thousand is just a number okay that's exactly what i was wondering and then the second thing i'd like to bring up is um seceding from the u.s i think that'd be wonderful but what i'm kind of personally having to decide to is now is this kind of like creating the situation for possibly civil war revolution um, I don't think that uh, in this day and age that you're going to see the United States government rolling tanks in on some state that decides to secede. However, I think the idea of a state seceding is a pie-in-the-sky pipe dream. Um, it might be a fine thing to discuss because I believe that people uh, have a right to secede, and if they want to do it as a group, they have the right to do that too. I believe that people have – that governance should be voluntary, so therefore secession necessarily is part of you know an, an exit plan. But I think that nullification, and that just means that states telling the federal government they're not going to do something. Uh, I see the federal the government just completely collapsing as a much more right. likely scenario I think the, than someone seceding. Right. I think the government's going to collapse before you see a state secede. But, Donald, I do appreciate the questions. Thanks so much. It's a great opportunity to talk about those kind of things. 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM. That's the username on Skype, 855-450. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. 
Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Free Talk Live. This was the quote from the DEA's paperwork. Only products that were primarily intended or designed for use in injecting, ingesting, inhaling, or otherwise introducing marijuana and injecting other controlled substances marijuana? into the, the human body. Injects marijuana. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how out of touch these people are. They're trying to make it look like marijuana users are strung Injecting out things. heroin junkies. <laughs> right. And it's just not true. No. Look, if you were to ever even try to put <laughs> plant material in a syringe and inject that into your veins. It's going to go poorly for it's you. It's going to work <laughs> once. <laughs> You're going to get high one last time if you even, <laughs> if you even make it to that point. Yeah. That's I mean, <laughs> not a good idea. Never in the history of marijuana consumption has anyone ever injected it into their veins. <laughs> yeah. Kids don't try that at home. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. That's 855-453-855-450-3733. Live Saturday night edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Daryl. Ian, our co-host, is off at a, at a ball, uh, having a, a, a grand old time. He actually wore a tie. So rare to see him. He's only got one. <laughs> no, he has two. He has two, really? I can only think of the orange one. He mentioned another color earlier in the day. Oh, how delightful. Anyway, um, you can give us a call at 855-450-FREE or call us on Skype. Uh, username is lrn.fm. If you want to use Skype and you haven't called us before, you're going to need to send a user request. And we'll, we, I, I mean, I can just take care of that right now as the show goes on. And then you can call in. And it'd be nice if you'd tell me through the little chat mechanism what you want to talk about. That makes it a lot easier for me. 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Richard calling in from West Virginia, listening to WVTS. Richard, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? What happened if the son wouldn't have lost the fight and he would have beat the dad up if he would have been charged with assault? Uh, yeah, you know, it is, it, it, I think that you probably would have been charged at this point um, because it's a very bad idea to get into a fight with somebody on their property. Right. Um, even though, you know, you're naked in the shower next day, you know, some dude's attacking you. I'm standing up for myself. I, I, I don't you know? I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but it, you can imagine how, you know, I mean, this guy was this is a big man. I saw the pictures. Yes. Um, uh, and and it, I fought big men and I fought little men. And I can tell you fighting big men is harder. You got, yeah, also, <laughs> my I advice is punch him in the somebody? face because. But <laughs> my brother is fighting for the uh, UFC title tonight in uh, Virginia. 
Oh my! I would just like to give a shout out to him. I hope that he. Uh, I, I hope. I, I always. This is interesting. So I used to do boxing, and boxing's much worse for the brain than uh, yeah. UF, this UFC stuff is. But it looks so much more brutal. I mean, these guys get messed yeah. up, and they really punch. They really punch hard. Um, I just feel so bad watching these guys. What's his name? Yeah, Andy Knopp. Um, he's. They call him the Tank. He's fighting. Um, Stephen, uh, uh, I can't think of his last name. It's for the belt out of Barbarian Fight Club. Excellent. Well, Richard, keep an eye on that, and uh, I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check and see who wins this one. Andy Knopp. Interesting. Dave in Wyoming. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how are you? Excellent, sir. You? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> What's on your mind? Excuse me. Um, yeah. So I'm a big believer in this idea that. Uh, you know, every story has nuances and details that we may not be oh, aware yeah. of. I, so, I'm trying, so just I try to bring stories in for the purpose of talking about sort of generally about issues. The specifics of stories don't interest me quite as much. Um, would you agree that there is a converse, cultural conversation that it is, A, okay for uh, to hit males, not okay to hit females, B, um, more okay to hit young people, young men than it is to hit old men, and C, okay to uh, threaten and uh, terrify the people that are dating your daughter? Uh, yeah, certainly I think okay. there are those conversations going on. Um, I think for the most part, uh, you know, I, I kind of missed the beginning of this whole session, so I didn't That's hear cool. the exact breakdown of the story. But what I, one thing I'm not uh, hearing is people calling this what it, what it seems to be is a, assault on a minor. I mean, if, if this – assuming these guys, you know, assuming this was consensual and they were both, you know, between 16 and 18 um, – I mean, we have laws against this thing for a reason. It, he, he can't assault an adult for this sort of thing. Uh, you don't just attack someone that's not the, you know, that's not the go-to response. And, of course, you know, I, we don't know the history of this story. You know, we don't know nope. the interactions this guy's had with this kid before and said, you know, stay out of my house, stay away from my daughter. And, you know, there's there's a little bit to be said for, you know, if he's repeatedly told this kid to stay away and the kid's coming back. Right. Now, this I is a different story. Anger, I would change like my whole not a attitude. Justification for assault. Yeah, I would change my whole uh, attitude if the conversation was, son, get out of my house. Right now, player, you can't yeah. tell me what to do. I'm no, I've been get invited that, get here. Out of his house immediately. And yeah, and you, you are being uninvited. Get out now. I ain't leaving. Right. Bam, 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 bam. Like this is a whole different conversation now. Right. Um, I have no problem with. Now I would like to point out this man was actually charged with a variety of things about like uh, okay. mental. Uh, you know, mentally abusing a child and and a whole bunch of things. And I, I really have a. I have a problem forcing with that too. someone under eighteen to witness an assault. Yeah, it's it's. I have a problem with a lot of this is because I really think that yeah, this shocking. is a simple assault. This is one man right. beating up on another man, and if this kid's between the ages of sixteen and, and eighteen, child. he's not a child. You weren't a child between the ages of sixteen and eighteen. Legally, he is a child. I could, the law is written by a bunch of liars and thieves. Well, and the law is not consistent. Because in Georgia, one can enter into a contract at the age of 16. One can consent to sexual relations at the age of 16. But one is not considered a full adult for most things you can't see a until movie for 18. God's you can't buy porn I mean, in Georgia until you're 21. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I just recently, you know, came off of working with high school students. So 16 to 18 year olds, they are children like they may be physically developing and, you know, mentally, actually, they're more aware of what we than what we might think. And so, yeah, there there is a it's an interesting point to, bro to be brought up about the emotional scarring of this event as well, because there are, are numerous studies that show that emotional trauma activates the same centers in the brain that are activated when physical trauma. Is I, I agree with that so, completely. But mental yeah. development isn't done until it's in the mid thirties. So the question I would right. have for you is, is where do we decide, um, you know, throughout human history, 12 and 13 year olds have been called adults. Um, they're certainly mm -hmm. an 18 year old is old enough to go off and fight in the military. Are you telling me six months earlier that he's somehow less capable of making the decision that he's able to make six months later? Two These days are, earlier yeah. under the yeah, law. Definitely. He's not the same. Well, let, let him answer. <laughs> 
Dave. Yeah, sorry. no, absolutely. There's definitely there's, there's definitely nuances to that. There's you know like this idea of you know Sam standing on the border between Canada and the United States, and I'm you know 18 years old or 20 years old or whatever it may be, and I you know take one step over the border, I'm legally allowed to drink here. What what what's the real moral like difference? It's it's we, these boundaries we have, these national boundaries. Obviously, they're very important, and like this ties into the, the whole thing going on in Crimea right now. But u- ultimately, these are these are man-made boundaries. We invent these, so of course, there's dialogue to be had about like you know every issue and and whether or not you know this guy that was with his daughter could be considered an adult is one thing. But we also have laws against assault on anyone. Yes, and I think it's um, a simple assault. So, um, now, yeah. but anyway, th- th- that's beside the point. Here's another thing I'd like to point out since we're on this topic, and we'll tr- switch over just a little bit. I think that the way that we treat young adults causes them to act less and less competent. Um, you know, when I, w- I had a job at 12 years old. And I recently, in the last few years, had the opportunity, a friend was working at a, a, a kind of a fast foody type place, and they had a lot of people, that this was their first job. They're in college, and it's their first job. What? They're not showing up for work on time, completely incompetent, and I feel like that not only does mental development occur over time, yep, it's true, but also that we, if, we, if you treat people like children, they're going to continue to act like it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, I definitely agree. It's it's definitely a huge societal problem uh, where, uh, so I, I may have been brought up in an, in an environment that encouraged me to learn and to become, you know, to take, to take, find value in work. And, uh, and there's certainly something to be said for that, but we also have to keep in mind and acknowledge and you, ha- you just have to assume the best of people because you can't know everything that's gone on in their lives. People don't choose the circumstances into which they're born you know, i.e., their their parents, their environment, the you know the ner- the emotional and mental stimulation they get as children. Sometimes that can take years to repair if it's not done properly. You know, when they're a child. So we just we can't know everything that's gone on with everybody. Uh, that's why we have to assume the best of people. Uh, it's just important to keep that in mind. And in order to live in a civilized society, we have to realize that you know some people. While while there's this idea that um, it may not be your fault, it is your problem. Uh, but we have to keep in mind that it may not be their fault as well. So the, the compassion and the sympathy has to play a large part in any discussion about that. Thanks, Dave. 855-450 free. I I tend to think that uh, this is this is all part of the, the problem. This is all part of the same, the larger, greater issue that we uh, we treat kids like they're children like they're uh, you know young people like they're children for far too long yeah if they if if responsibility is introduced to them they're going to be better at it i started working at 12 years old i wasn't that great at showing up on time and being responsible for my actions but i can tell you i was a worlds ahead of my competition which is the other young people that i was going to school with by the time i'm 16 or 17 i'm a lot more responsible than they are and some people would say, oh, child labor. I wasn't exploited. It was a I comic was book working store. when I was in, like, kindergarten. 855-450-FREE, free, free Talk Live. Experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three quarter inch pre finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22 month special financing is available. So go to lumberliquidators.com now to find the store nearest to you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. Quantum Vibe It's year 2523 There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed With brain implants and artificial gravity A scientific genius and his clever assistant Set out on an adventure through the solar system On a secret mission to find the key To access new frontiers and save liberty QuantumVibe.com From Big Head Press MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code 
FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,288. Silver opened at $19.67. While Bitcoin is trading at $514.35. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Giga Hash Bitcoin Miner. No pre order, ships on time. Sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. Support also comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online, affordablesound.com. Or call them, 512-459-5253. And support is shown from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, online at SovereignBTC.com. In the news, Middleton, Idaho has unanimously voted to ban the implementation of indefinite detention, as outlined in the 2012 National Defense Authorization Act. In a vote of 4 to nothing, the city passed a resolution making Middleton the fifth city in the nation and the second in Idaho to ban indefinite detention. Sections 1021 and 1022 of the 2012 NDAA authorize indefinite military detention of any person without charge or trial. Legal troubles for an anti-gun California state senator. The San Jose Mercury News is reporting that Democratic Senator Leland Yee has been indicted for conspiracy to traffic in firearms without a license and to illegally import firearms. He also faces six counts of corruption, which allegedly involved handing out favors for campaign contributions. Yee is described as one of the most outspoken California lawmakers against gun rights. On March 20th, over 25 technology companies signed onto a public letter asking Senator Ron Wyden to oppose fast-track authority for trade agreements, such as the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Wyden, the new chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, has already spoken in favor of transparency for the TPP negotiations. The companies are asking Wyden to use his new position to reject fast-track, also known as Trade Promotion Authority, which gives the White House more power and influence over international trade agreements. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. Dorothy can walk you through the ins and outs of buying a home. Give her a call, 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. Support also comes from Soleil School, enrolling children age 5 through 10 in Austin. Visit soleilschool.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014, Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The government of Turkey on Thursday banned YouTube, just days after doing the same with Twitter. CNN reports the YouTube ban is due to a leak of a conversation between top government officials discussing the possibility of war with Syria. The conversation has also been banned from broadcast on Turkish television and radio. Armed guards could soon be coming to airport security checkpoints. The Transportation Security Administration has made that request, included in a 25-page report released to Congress Wednesday. The Associated Press reports 14 recommendations are included in the report, among them the armed guard scenario. The report does state that trained police officers and not TSA agents would serve as the armed guards. The Electronic Frontier Foundation is declaring April 4th a nationwide day of action to call attention to Internet censorship in public libraries and public schools. In collaboration with the MIT Center for Civic Media and the National Coalition Against Censorship, EFF will host a digital teach-in to educate and promote resistance to the use of Internet filters on library computers. Currently, under the Children's Internet Protection Act, libraries are required to accept federal funds to adopt an Internet safety policy. 
that filters websites and blocks software on public and staff computers. Originally designed to filter pornography and content that could be harmful to minors, the EFF claims the law has resulted in unnecessary censorship of constitutionally protected websites. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal Printing, your source for anything printed since 1972, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappeallink.com. And support comes from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 28, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. You're putting your name, address, credit card number, social security number, all that, you're just chucking it right up onto the internet where any disgusting degenerate can grab it. The only way to make sure that your identity is never stolen is to change it every three years. That's what I do. Two years ago, I was Ellen Foxcroft, attorney at law. Three years before that, I was Trish Homingwood, patient at the Austin State Psychiatric Hospital. And three years before that, I was Regina Dupree, lead singer of the soul group Derriere. And you know what? None of my identities has ever been stolen. So to make sure that your personal information stays safe, you gotta follow some simple steps. First, you're gonna need new pieces of identification, right? But don't worry, old Shelby knows a guy up in Detroit can fix these up pronto, real cheap. Next, you're gonna have to fake your own death. But all that takes is a mold of your teeth, a corpse, and a $500 used car for setting on fire. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855 450 3733. You can call in, talk about whatever you want. It's free talk live. You're free to call in and talk about anything you'd like on live radio. It's Mark <laughs> and Daryl. Uh, 855 450 free. And what we've been talking about all evening is this story out of Athens, Georgia, where a father comes home to hear. His daughter, he thinks, may be speaking on the speakerphone in the shower or something. Well, he hears two voices coming from the bathroom. Right. And he's thinking, well, maybe she's talking on her phone and she has it on speaker. Yep. And I am imagine the more he listened, the larger the, he came to the conclusion that perhaps he was uh, what he was hearing was, in fact, his daughter in the shower with her boyfriend. Which appears to have been the case. And so he decided to have a seat on the couch in the living room. Yes. And uh, now the one thing we know is that these two people were under the age of 18. Yes. Now in, in Georgia, if you're 16 or over, you're legally allowed to have sex. Not that I think that that means that uh, everybody who's over the age of 16 is um, and legally allowed to have sex, should be able to have sex in my house. Um, I, I think that one has the right to disallow one's children from having sex in their house, if that's what they wish. But uh, he went. what he did in this circumstance is he pushed past his daughter um, and apparently gave her a small injury. I mean, it didn't sound very, it didn't sound life-threatening to me. She had a red eye, yeah. according to the police report. Yep, yeah, I'm willing to sort of brush that off. Um, and he beat on, pounded on this young man, um, and then called the police, and the police arrested him. Basically for, like, child abuse and stuff, um, I, I I tend to, th- I consider this more of a simple assault yes. situation. But I, I think that it brings up the larger issue of just how stuck we are on the idea that it's okay for fathers to petrify, terrify, threaten uh, the dates of their daughters. Exactly what are you trying to achieve when you do this? Because clearly you achieve a world where this guy thinks it's okay to beat up on her daughter's boyfriend. Well, I had the bejesus scared out of me by the girl's dads that I dated, and so I'm going to do it too. Some people tried to do that to me. So when it's the whole you know system of whatever. Some people tried to do that to me when I was a young man, and I really got to say, you know, this is just hazing. It's just more hazing, and that stuff doesn't work. It's not good. It doesn't create uh, good relationships. I want to have a good relationship with the person who my child thinks is good enough to to date and be with. And if you 
I, I think that this it, it causes secrecy. The, these situations that I don't want to have secrets from my kid or I want to have as few secrets as possible because that way I can make better decisions on how to on what sort of advice I give you should I think you should be telling your kids to use protection um, for to avoid pregnancy and social diseases as opposed to trying to scare them into what you consider the right behavior is because here's a surprise for you they're going to have sex at some point and if it's okay to beat this kid up when he's 16 or 17 in your house because he's violating the sanctity of your house, then it should be okay to beat him up if, if your daughter's 22 living at home and he violates the sanctity of the house. At what age? Can my father-in-law, I'm married to my wife, um, father-in-law, when I stay over at his, uh, his house and stay in you know, the, the guest room, is it okay for him to kick in the door and beat me up because I'm having sex with his daughter? Because that would be crazy. Yeah. Crazy talk. Let's go talk to, uh, in, instead of hearing me ramble, let's talk to Matt in uh, Minnesota. Matt, you're on Free Talk Live. Thanks for holding. How's it going this evening, gentlemen? All's well, sir. Uh, I can agree with you guys more. Um, what, uh, what really gets me is they'll consider, you know, say he was 17. They'll consider him a kid in this instance. And then if it was something... That had to do with a free speech at school. They'd be like, well, he, he's almost an adult. It's like you, you yeah. can't have it both ways. Oh, and interestingly, certain crimes, if he commits crimes, he'll probably be adjudicated as an adult because he, quote unquote, committed an adult crime. Right. And I don't understand yep. how a juvenile can a commit an adult crime or how an adult can commit a cr- juvenile crime. It doesn't make any sense to me. If I go out and spray paint on the side of somebody's business, I'm 43. Um, am I going to be charged yeah. as a juvenile? Well, no. hell no. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, and, and so, yeah. you know, a 17 year old shouldn't be charged as an adult, I guess, right. if you're going to have and, juvenile and- crimes. And like you guys were talking about, you know, the dad cleaning the gun. Um, when I met, when I picked my wife up, well, she wasn't my wife at that point, but when we went out on our first date, her brother, because her dad had passed away, was cleaning a little twenty two pistol. Uh-huh. And he goes, sit down. I go, oh, that's a nice gun. I go, do you want to see mine? He looks at me. I go, I have a concealed weapons permit. Yeah, here you so go. Take a look. And I, yeah, I show him my forty five. I go, here's mine. I go, mine's bigger. And I just the weird. He just started laughing his ass off. He's like, "You're all right." We're the, you know, <laughs> pretty much how our first conversation went. Yeah, I, you know, this is so. This is an interesting, um, you know, thing to point out is this. The, here's one of these situations: the intimidating of the uh, uh, of of the date. Um, I guess it's to show that we have we here have value in our women folk. Well, who the hell didn't think you had that? What kind of barbarians do you think you're dealing with here? Do you think your sister is such a mouth-breathing moron that she's she's dragging in somebody that didn't show that she had value in her, that you had to clean a gun in front of them? And you yeah. clearly had so much value that you later on went on and married her. And yeah. you know what? You probably treated all the women that you dated prior to her. I'm assuming you dated at least one um, uh, yeah. prior to her. You probably treated them well, too. Yep. Yep. Exactly. It, yeah. It's, uh, I, I don't know. It's just this is a, another instance of just BS in the news media. I mean, Matt, how, how old were you when this happened, by the way? Uh, I was 26. There you go. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> and my wife was uh, just about to turn. Well, when I picked her up, she, or we first started dating, she was 19. There you go. Yeah, I suppose that they're probably thinking that there's an age difference here. Well, they're going to have to, we're going to have to stop this from happening. Oh, God. Yeah. So there's seven years. They couldn't possibly have anything to talk about. They, there's seven years difference. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> Matt, thanks for the call. Let's, Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pulled the trigger too fast on him. Pulled the trigger. 45. Why are you pulling triggers on, <gasps> what, 27-year-olds? Indeed. Jim, calling from Missouri. Listen to KSIS. Jim, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello there. How are you, sir? I'm doing quite well. What's in your mind? Boy, what a generation difference there is when I was brought up. Yeah, what was it like for you? Well, uh, let's turn to you. Um, you have a child. I do. He's six. All right. Uh, up at this time, it's been your responsibility to feed him, feed he's clean, 
Um, I'm trying to get him to do that crap, but uh, yeah. Uh, that that's your responsibility. It's a lifelong uh, it's a lifelong tr- work. Yes. Uh, okay. Now he gets to be um, twelve. He's still your responsibility. Legally, you sure. You don't hand him yep. a box of matches and let him play with them. I uh, probably not in the house. Well, that's that's all. Oh, I'm glad you said house. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we was established that. Now when they get to be seventeen, eighteen, uh, they're living in your house. You have certain values in your house. Um, you should be living those values so that they don't look at you like a hypocrite. Yeah, that's a good, that's a that's a true statement. Now, um, if you got values in their house and they're living under your roof, they know what you expect. Uh, now, assuming that there's the good communication. Yeah, there's probably. I think they do. Okay, okay. Now, they may do things outside the house that you don't know. I found out my kids have done some things I didn't know. But they respected me. They didn't, they didn't defile my house. Now, um, a, a, a person 17, 18 years old, their mind has not fully developed, and you put out another figure up in the 30s, I think you said something Yep, like that. Jim, I'm going to have but, to bring you back, because I, I know you're getting to something here, and I want to hear it, so please hold the line. Um, you can call us at 855-450-FREE. Sounds like Jim's got the conservative values. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Amanda Bosold here for Midas Resources. Today, March 28th, 2014, gold opened at 1290.80. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1337.76, 668.88 for a half ounce, or 334.44 for a quarter ounce. Again, that's 1337.76, 668.88, and 334.44. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, well, and the I Social Security Administration, li- the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. And, of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business. But Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know.
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com this is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-453, that's... 3733 for those of you who don't have the letters on your phone. That's 855 453 7333. It's a live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark and Daryl. And you can call in and talk about whatever you want. But we've been talking about a situation where a father comes home, catches the daughter in the shower with a young man, and beats the bejesus out of that young man. And we've had answers all across the, uh, the board here uh, from people who, uh, you know, uh, agree with a more sort of liberal mindset in child rearing, I suppose, is uh, the way one could say it, to ones that are more conservative. Jim, th- who is on the line here, thankfully is a very reasonable individual who appears to be representing the uh, conservative side, and I'm uh, delighted that he called in. We'll get to him in just one moment, but I want to tell you about blockchain.info. Because blockchain is uh, it's an online Bitcoin wallet, and you have to have a wallet to possess Bitcoins. Yes, and I use blockchain. Mark, I'm fairly certain you do oh, as yes. well. And it's probably the most important Bitcoin site on the internet. Yeah, Blockchain.info has, among a legion of other tools, the best online wallet. It interfaces with an Android app, and thanks to fancy encryption techniques... On blockchain.info, the FBI, and even the NSA never has access to your money. Neither does blockchain because it's uh, they they never possess uh, possess it. I wonder if I've uh, what I've got turned on here. Someone coughed. And take care of that. (laughs) They actually have no way of knowing necessarily how much money you do have in your wallets. And if you're careful, they don't know how much you are sending or receiving. The blockchain.info wallet even has tools to easily send or receive your Bitcoins anonymously. It's time for you to join the millions of other Bitcoin users. Get your free Bitcoin wallet today at blockchain.info. And while they don't have an app for BlackBerry or the uh, Apple, you can still access blockchain.info using the browser on any smartphone. That's true. Let's get back to Jim calling in from Sedalia. Uh, Jim, you're back on Free Talk Live. You were talking about oh, thank how you. Um, thank you. your kids may uh, have done some things. Your name is Van Daryl? This is Daryl, yes. No, there's Mark, Mark and, and Daryl. I'm Mark. I'm Daryl. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's establish this. You agree that you're responsible for this child to see he's fed and clothed and, and uh, go to school? Up until a certain grade. Yes, sir. And you expect him to abide by certain things. I do. Okay. Supposing he rebels and he uh, uh, goes out on his own. Leaves the and house? He's out there for a while and yeah. he gets hungry. <laughs> and he comes back. Yeah. And he has picked up uh, a uh, habit of, of drinking. Okay. And he comes all in. He says, say he's 26. All right. And he, he comes... In at all hours of the night, drunk. How long are you going to put up with that? Not too long. I wouldn't think so. But one so, thing that so, I'd have so, to so. weigh for myself, uh, Jim, I, I I really have to weigh is is that 
you know, like I know I if when he's 26, I still care, right? I've only got one and I care a lot. And I know that you know, alcohol's a alcohol's a devious drug and and people end up in terrible situations if he if he's at home, then he's generally better off than elsewhere. But at some point or another, Jim, you're right. I'm going to be like, I just can't live this way. Okay. So regardless of their age, if they're going to be underneath your roof, there are certain responsibilities. Agreed. Okay. Now, to me, to tell a daughter that it's okay to have sex at home because it's cleaner than in the back seat of a car or somewhere, um, you get ticks and chiggers in the woods. It's somewhat of a tacit endorsement. I, I, yeah. I, I see and what you're you saying, and I do. Her, I mean, and, t- and tell her that uh, you don't approve of it. You expect her to uh, not engage in this. That she could end up pregnancy, pregnant, and not be able to go to school and be a, a um, labor the rest of her life. Um, that's your responsibility. I, I, I agree with you. Endorsement to, to... I don't think it's an endorsement. And here's the, the reason, Jim, is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a conversation. I don't have a daughter, um, but I'm going to still have the conversation with my son about um, protection and avoiding pregnancy. The, I consider that to be a really big deal. Pregnancy is a big deal. And further is, is I what concerns me greatly is, is that I want to have a truthful relationship with my child. And I know the more things that I'll disallow him from doing – the more likely he is to tell me a story. And this is at six, and you know it doesn't change, Jim. It sounds to me like you've had several, and you know, you've know you been lied to a few times. And I just want to get lied to as little as possible. I was raised the way you're talking about. I lied to my parents a lot, and it resulted in some very bad things for me in my life. And if I would have had a relationship where I could have talked to my parents more plainly, I probably would have had, I would certainly had a different life. Well, let me say this. I don't doubt that my kids have lied to me. I know they have, but it wasn't uh, profuse. I, the youngest one now is 55, very successful. All my kids are successful. And they knew what I expected, and they honored my respect. They didn't defile my home. And again, to tell them how to protect themselves. I think that's something the mother and daughter ought to have a talk with. But the, Jim, I can the, a, totally appreciate your position. I really do thank you for the call this evening. Thank you so much. Let's call. Uh, let's talk to Richard calling in from Bozeman. Richard, you're on free hello, talk. Hello, this is Richard. Hello, Richard. Yes, I wanted to say that, you know, I view this situation as a, another example of how women are viewed as property. Almost. You know, so that guy felt his property was violated, and he was justified in beating up this kid. It could be. You know? I, I can't say exactly what he this guy was thinking because there's a lot of this uh, being said about my house, my rules, violate uh, yeah. violation and sanctity. Yeah. And I, I, I can I have um you know I, I certainly have some kind of imp- empathy for that that position, but there's well, like, another other attitude out there. Said, and you've said. Is just that that doesn't allow him to physically assault somebody. No, no. You know, because that is assault. That's a crime. Yep. You know, and here's a question some people should think about, you know, because other people said it's like, well, what if his stepdaughter came out with a girl? It's like, well, what if it was his stepson and he came out with another boy? Who would he beat up then? I, 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 I imagine the beatings would be would be pretty profuse and long lasting at that point. Yeah, yeah, but no, it is. It's it's kind of an it is, it's an example of how a lot of people still view women as property. And and here's a story. It's like I had a friend that was fairly get twenty you seconds. Would say persuasive and successful, and a lot of people would say that guy stole my girlfriend. Yeah. And and my reply was, how much did you buy your girlfriend for? It's exactly the right because, answer. Yeah, and, and you know, you, it's a great point, Richard. You can't Richard. steal something you don't own. Indeed. You don't own it. You don't own her. It's not, you don't own her or anything about her. Uh, 855-450 free, free talk live. I see a little bit of that in this situation. I don't know for sure. 855-450 free. Yeah, 
If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Calling all makeup lovers. Bare Minerals Foundation just won its ninth Glammy Award for Best Prestige Foundation. And to celebrate, we're offering risk-free trials to all women nationwide. That's right. Every woman who calls right now can get a full-size risk-free trial of our number one selling foundation. Plus, a free five-piece makeup set. For yours, call 1-800-961-4764. This is an exclusive, radio-only offer you don't want to miss. Bare Minerals Foundation gives you flawlessly beautiful coverage with a no-makeup feel. And it's clinically proven to promote clearer, healthier-looking skin for all skin types. No wonder it's won nine Glammies in a row. And now you can try it for yourself. Call now to find out how you can participate in our nationwide risk-free trial and join the millions who've already tried Bare Minerals Foundation and fallen in love with their skin again. Plus, we'll send you a free five-piece makeup set, our gift to you. Hurry. Don't miss this exclusive radio-only offer. 1-800-961-4764. 1-800-961-4764. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on earth? Most coffee at grocery stores and chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, BuzzBox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. <laughs> Free Talk Live, 855 you can call in and talk about whatever you want, but, you know, frankly, the last two and a half hours have been about this story out of Athens, Georgia, where this fella comes home, finds his daughter in the shower with her, I guess, her boyfriend. Let's assume uh, she's not just cycling these guys in daily or something like that. And uh, beats the, the article said boyfriend. OK, beats the heck. Well, he's a friend. and He's male, right? Beats the heck out of this kid. And uh, he got charged for it. 
But um, it's an interesting story nonetheless, and I think that what it speaks to, in in my opinion, is is this uh, sort of societal attitude that it is okay to threaten the young men um, that date our young ladies. I don't think it is. Further, um, I think that there's this weird thing about dads and stuff. I was 33 when I married my wife, maybe 32 when I met her. I can't remember exactly. I don't have the numbers exactly. Somewhere in my early 30s. And she's two and a half years older than I am. Um, somebody asked me what it was like when I asked her father for her hand in marriage. Like, what, are you crazy? <laughs> what? I didn't ask her father for a hand in marriage. Go to the retirement home and oh, he's say, not, you he's know, not that Mr. Old. Sir. But I mean, it's, I, 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 I can, I, I don't, I saw no reason to ask this man this question. He's very nice. I, I like him lots. I probably wouldn't get married to somebody who I didn't like their family. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. At least things have worked out well for me. Uh, but ask him if I sh- can marry his daughter. I, I, I didn't even let him know. She's a grown woman. She's 35 years old. She can make her own own mind up. Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, 855-450-FREE. Your opinion is certainly welcome on uh, these subjects. Let's go to uh, Corey calling in from Georgia, listening on TuneIn app. Corey, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Not much. First of all, I wanted to say uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. You sounded terrible earlier in the week. Yeah, I really so, wanted uh, to be on the show, but I didn't yeah. sound good at all. Yeah, I, know. I still don't sound yeah, great. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, see, I kind of, the problem that I see here, and I, I kind of see a common ground between you and Jim, is that people people don't invest the time that's needed with children and in relationships. I agree with you. And then when things like this happen, uh, they don't know how to handle it, I think. I mean, I saw a lot of my friends growing up whose parents didn't invest the time into their children's lives. And then when they didn't get the results that they expected out of their children, even though they hadn't invested the time in them, they ended up uh, going off the handle on their children. You yep. know, because it's a full-time job. And the impression oh, I got yeah. from Jim when he called in is that he was the kind of guy that took the time. Now, he had a con- conservative uh, viewpoint on these things, but that he had – you know, he spent the time and energy every single day because there, it up. there's no breaks when it comes to raising kids. It's an, it's an 18 year job, 24 on. And it's, it's a continuous process. It's not you turn around one day and talk to your child about the birds and the bees. Nope. I mean, you don't talk. You don't turn around one day and talk about the evils of drugs one day. Yep. It's a continual process of, okay, you need to be act responsibly in your life. These are responsible things you can do. You know, my parents, they were, I mean, they were cool with, uh, with a lot of things, you know, but they, they always stressed being responsible, you know, um, and that was the, the main thing they, they focused on. Um, but I also wanted to, I, I think I've told you about my, my work with gender and country music, um, but your point about um, men thinking that they own women, um, or was the last caller brought it up, but there's actually a, a lot of country songs that talk about that um, as far as being overprotective of daughters and not for sons. And if you think about the song Wake Up Little Susie, um, yeah. it's actually talking about Wake Up Little Susie, what are we going to tell your mom, what are we going to tell your pa? Yeah. Um, it doesn't say anything about, about his parents. Exactly. What are we going to say you know, when our friends say "ooh la la"? As though, I mean, I don't know exactly what that that's, that part's yeah. all about. Um, I think that's just social yeah. engineering, trying to imagine that your friends would say this or that. But yeah. I've actually fallen asleep in a car with um, a young lady. Now we didn't end up it's too terribly. Not late. while you were driving, I hope. No, I was at it was I was at a drive-in. They they still existed, but we both <laughs> fell asleep. Yeah. Um. But the, the, that's the thing about it. But my, uh, you know, I, we showed a uh, video in class last week about misogyny in popular culture. And, you know, the, next week I'm giving a lecture on um, uh, on misogyny and violence in country music. And the bigger issue to me is not that, that violence towards women happens in, in cult, in like pop media, uh, like music and things, but the, the extreme, the, uh, the, amount to which it happens in media altogether, uh, violence towards men, especially men against men, 
you well, know. Uh, the women it, against men in country music's been really a, a, a big deal over the last lately. decade. There's been a lot yeah. of that, and I think this this is a this is a this is a bad thing too. This lady thinking she can key up some dude's truck because he cheated yeah, on yeah, her, yeah. Or kill their uh, you know the the ex husband and the whole variety of things. But yeah, there's research has been done on uh, the, the southern culture of honor and things like that. Yeah, it's interesting. That, that men who feel uh, that they've been uh, dishonored or um, yeah, whatever they, yep. they they fly out the handle and get into fights and violence. Uh, and that's kind of my issue with it is that you know in the South, I mean, one of the worst things you could possibly do is to, to hit a hit a woman. You know, you're told that, but if it's violence against a man. It is just like second nature. I mean, it's, it's defend yourself and uh, even against verbal uh, things. So it's just, it's craziness and just wish people would just get along. Thanks, Corey. I appreciate but, the call. Um, let's go to Nathan calling in on Skype. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? You sound a lot better. Thank you. You sound great. What's on your mind? I completely, I completely agree with everything you've said so far, and you know, I agree also with this idea. You that, sound like a genius, sir. <laughs> I'm amazed listening to Stefan Molyneux's show. How often the parents just don't know how to, you know, in, how to raise the kids, and then when a, a disaster happens, something uh, they don't know what to do. <laughs> Well, I don't think anybody's prepared for child rearing. Um, it is it's a job that no one knows how to do. Um, and it's it's always amusing to me when uh, people talk about how how good they are at it. I'd really love to to know more about their lives. <laughs> well, and then what would also be interesting to ask the child, how how good are your parents? I, I, I imagine that they're the only parents they know. Right. But I'd like to know decades later. I my best friend growing up had great parents and to some extent they helped raise me uh-huh because of you know things in my life I I didn't ever actually live with them but I was over at their house enough to where they were very influential in the way I was raised so I would say that my friend had better parents than what I had not that my dad was a horrible father but some people are better at it than others. Yeah, you know, they were much better at being parents. Nathan, um, well, uh, as much as uh, as much as it's interesting to agree, I think it's more interesting for radio if we disagree. So I have a topic that we might disagree on. Okay, when, when you mentioned when you mentioned that ahead. when you mentioned that shelter earlier, uh, what was it called? The hundred night the, shelter. Uh, yeah, so I was thinking. I was thinking along the lines of, in a free society, how would things like science and technology be funded? And uh, would you personally be willing to contribute a a commensurable amount uh, to that as to what you're paying for the charity? And I'm I'm assuming that it would be a, a, a kind of public thing in the sense that, you know, the invention of the transistor benefited everyone. It didn't just benefit a few companies. Kick- Kickstarter so has shown that technological innovations and other sorts of innovations can certainly be, uh, you know, uh, b- b- funded by the, the, the free market um, and, and quite well. Would I be willing to? I tend, here's my dark secret is to some extent, I really don't even believe in charities at all. I do it because... Mm-hmm. I because for one, my wife likes it. Um, I, I do it to sort of, um, you know, be able to say, look, I fund these things. But I re- what I really believe in is innovation. I believe that we would be best spent if we spent if we gave our charitable dollars to create innovation where people could have more things for less money. Um, oh. for in- you well, know, technology is exactly what I'm uh, talking about. Yeah, that's precisely what I believe. I just think that to some extent you kind of have to give people a hamburger now and then until we get there. I guess that's what my thought process is. So we don't disagree, Nathan. Thanks for the call. <laughs> free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Everybody wants to know. What can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. 
The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You gotta see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Call me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. 877-996-4327, extension 128. That's 877-996-4327, extension 128. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com the three most important things you can do for free talk live are one share one episode a week on facebook or in some other social networking site two buy the things you buy online through shop dot free talk live dot com three give five bucks a month to the amp program it's my firm belief that free talk lives amp program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty oriented organizations support all the organizations you love but make sure you give five bucks a month to amp at amp.freetalklive.com. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-453. Well, I guess that's the telephone number. It's final segment. We might be able to squeeze you in. It's the live Saturday edition with Mark. And Daryl. 855-453. Wanna, real quick, if you've called in this evening, hey, maybe you want to hear your call. Or maybe you just uh, didn't get the whole show. You want to get it or you want to hear other shows in the past. We have the archives free for Free Talk Live going back for a long years um and you can over the, seven years it's it over seven years it's going back for years and you can get the last seven days right on the website just go to freetalklive.com if you want anything older than that you can search around but you could go directly to archives.freetalklive.com and that would take you there and you can get all kinds of old episodes of free talk live available to you for free and you know we want you to listen to them spread them around do whatever we don't charge for them like the other shows do it's archives.freetalklive.com. So during the last segment, we had a caller called in, asked about funding technology and science and charities absent 
government funding of these things. And one thing that didn't get brought up was funding for the arts. And there's this myth floating around that unless governments were giving money to art museums, they wouldn't exist. But when you actually look at the bottom line of most art museums, they get a small portion of their money from government grants and other sorts of government entities. Well, NPR is a really great example. I've heard numbers from 2% to 12% of NPR's funding comes from the government. And in any of those cases, that means that they could just cut loose whatever government funding they have, period. Right. And just tell their listeners, we're completely listener supported. Now you have to try more. They'd probably get more money if they just got rid of government funding. And for art museums, I've heard that it's 25%. But most art museums don't charge you a cover fee. They're just, you know, open to the public. Walk on in and walk around. A lot of times they'll tell you um, that there's a suggested donation, and then you have the option of giving that amount or not. The art museum in Birmingham, Alabama, which is where I'm from, they would have a little donation box by the door. But there was nothing. It was like, you know, if you like the museum, drop a couple dollars. But they would occasionally have some of these traveling exhibits where they would charge. And I would gladly go and pay $15 to see the ruins from Pompeii or the terracotta soldiers, which I've seen both of. Oh, that's amazing. I've seen several of Da Vinci's notebooks. So people would fund this stuff absent government force. Let's go to Charles uh, calling in from Charleston. Charles, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. <laughs> and you didn't ask her father? What's that? Oh, no, I did not ask my wife's father, uh, of, of his 35-year-old daughter, whether I could marry her. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just, that seems so arcane. Uh, I, yeah, can I have your daughter? No, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> yeah, if you give me some sheep. <laughs> yeah, Okay. Wait, ha, ha, how many sheep is appropriate for a 35-year-old woman? I don't I I could not tell you. No, because based on the sort of traditions of where you give sheep, at 35 she's well over being an old maid. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's a true So statement. maybe it's like, you know, a turtle dove. <laughs> Charles? I think it's two turtle doves. <laughs> <laughs> this could only go downhill from here. What's what's on your mind, Charles? I don't know. You just Oh, no, uh, I'd like to beat, uh, about beat that day, one cat to death there about a uh, oh, man beating up on a dude. Uh, did you hear about the incident uh, where a little nine-year-old girl had shaved her head? Yep. And uh, was, uh, because her uh, friend had cancer and they expelled her from school. That's right, and so she, uh, they, what, what, her friend had cancer. She was getting chemotherapy, so she shaved her head to be in sort of solidarity with her friend. It was a violation of school rules. The school expelled her or suspended her or something. Well, yeah, this is in uh, Michigan, I think. It, it was a private school. Is that so? Yeah. And they said that they would not let her uh, parents re-enroll her for the next year because they interpreted her act to be going against the gender assigned roles for a woman. Are you sure? Sh- okay. Well, why, why are we finding ro- how how do we find roles and stuff? It wasn't a private school. I, I think that you've got the stories mixed up. Okay, the story that I read. There's another one of a gal of a young young you know, she's a, a young girl who uh basically meh, she's a very very much a tomboy. Yes. Yeah, that's a different story. Okay. Charles but anyway. Let me let me get these um yeah, you get something else to say? Yeah, uh, they said that if she wore a wig, uh, she could come back to school. Hmm. Well, I thought her uh, a Sammy Hagar wig or oh, an Elvis wig. You're just trouble, oh, Charles. Or uh, <laughs> maybe an Al King wig and uh, took her to school and said, now here she is. Hey, can you educate my child? And Thanks for the call, Charles. <laughs> that fella's just trouble. All right, yes. let's go to uh, Dana calling in from um, Grand Rapids. Dana, you're, whoop, oh, shoot, I just dropped Dana. I'm sorry, Dana. My apologies. Let's go to Fred. Fred, it's your lucky day, buddy. You're on Free Talk Live. Fred, Hello, Fred. In Charleston. 
Yes. Hello. Did, didn't understand you for a second. Um, yeah, you guys have talked about Bitcoin a bit. And, yes, sir. Uh, and I was looking into it and um, interested in uh, trying it a little bit, you know, investing a little bit in it. And then that the thing happened in Hong Kong. And um, is this the I forget, this is one of the, the CEOs of, the, of one of the small exchanges uh, committed suicide? Yeah, well, and there was like a whole run on the exchange. It got uh, taken over by hackers. Yep. <clears throat> so how how secure do you feel that Bitcoin is? Oh, a Bitcoin in and of itself has never had a security problem. Um, websites get hacked all the time. Banks get robbed. Um, right. Uh, so I think that the best way, if you're going to put any kind of money into Bitcoin is to do uh, what they call offline storage and you should uh, look into you know offline storage or cold storage of Bitcoins and see how to go about doing that. I can't really give a tutorial on that online, but you'll be safe at that point. And bank websites get hacked as well. That's true. It does happen. Right, right. For, um, <laughs> call in with more Bitcoin questions uh, later on. We're on seven nights a week from seven to ten. I want to get this last call in and I sort of hung up on okay. Dana. Thank you so much. Um, Dana, my apologies. You're on Free Talk Live. Okay, you're okay. I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> um, you're welcome. You know what? Um, I don't know which one of you said it, but you asked you men mentioned about asking for the hand in marriage. Um, yes. I didn't get married right out of high school either. It was after college, like you know, later after grad school. And uh, my father passed when I was young, um, when I was in grade school. But the first guy that Posed to me, asked my mother for my hand in marriage when I was still young, you know, in undergraduate age. And her response was, her hand, if you're going to take her, take everything. <laughs> but that was just, yeah, isn't that great? Little isn't joke, that yeah. a great response? We have real sarcastic, our, all of our family members, are, we love, love to laugh. But you know what? When I did get married, I was older. And I wasn't as old as you, but I was older, and um, nor was I as old as your wife. I wasn't in my mid-30s, but um, um, my fiancé did go to then my stepfather because she had married once the kids were, you know, older, remarried, years, many years after my dad died. But um, he did go to them and ask for their blessing. What did you think about I that? I will not marry. What do I? Yeah, what did you oh, think about it I would have said, at the time? What did I? I was all part of that. Okay, I great. wanted that. Okay, good. Oh, absolutely. There is nothing wrong with that. Oh, I'm not no, saying right, it's wrong. It's just I not the what I was going to do. Something. No, right. And that, that's okay. I understand because you were older, but I wasn't much younger than you guys after school and, you know, working for a while. So I wasn't as old as you, but I was, I was older. I was on my own. But the thing is, is, you know, sometimes, um, on your show, on many shows, just people's um, norms, you know, nowadays, maybe if we acted a little bit more like we did maybe in our parents' generation, we wouldn't have all the issues we have. Oh, they had um, issues, had Dana. The, the, the same yeah, issues they were. Did, but it wasn't. No, no, you guys, it was never. There's never so much violence and hatred and disrespect of each other. You know, I can't Something speak to the 50s, changed. but I can tell you that the violence now is lower than it was in the 60s. So my, um, I can't. My parents, my parents didn't grow up in the 50s. Yeah, I I'm couldn't say. I, mean, I, I can't look back that yeah. far. Because um, there's just not statistics on it. Dana, thank you so much for the call, everybody. You're have welcome, a good, guys. Thank you. Have, have a great evening. Drive safe. Uh, don't drink and drive. It's been Mark with you. And Daryl. Free Talk Live. According to locals waiting for a 66 bus in downtown Chicago last night, a young couple was making out in the passenger shelter like they were in f Paris or something. Onlookers spoke to reporters about the pair who carried on their passionate embrace for over 20 minutes as if they were in some sort of g and candlelit bistro tucked away in Montmartre. It's been almost a half an hour and they're still going at it. It's like they think they're sitting on a sun-dappled picnic blanket in the Tuileries Gardens. I mean, where the hell are we? The Champs-Élysées? The Paris Marathon makeout session, which took place in downtown Chicago and not, as frustrated onlookers emphasized, on a cobblestone street in the city of 
lights, featured intense gazing, deep tongue kissing, and other gestures of affection typically reserved for a couple strolling down the banks of the Seine River. You know, for a second there, I honestly thought we had all been transported to Parc Monceau drinking flutes of champagne on a wonderful summer afternoon while being serenaded by a Parisian accordion player. But no, we're at a bus stop in f***ing Chicago. This is the Onion News Network. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs,